Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. And welcome back. Welcome back to this... To whatever the heck is going on here. Geode Farming Simulator 2023. Welcome, welcome. Hope you all had a lovely rest of your day yesterday. Hey there, Koji. Welcome on in. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing about the same as I was yesterday, to be honest with you. I'm just, you know, I'm I'm living life. Living life, loving life. The the smoke from the wildfires has cleared up a little bit today, so that's kind of nice to see. Kitty is here for me. Be sure to pet the kitty for me, please. Pet the kitty. Just got a lucky pen. Lucky ring from panning and not on Ginger Island probably sounds silly, but genuinely surprised you. I mean, that's uh, not something you expect when you take out your pan, that's for sure. That's like going fishing. You get one of those, like, treasure chests and you open it up and there's a prismatic shard staring you in the face or something like that. That's, uh, <laughs> that's not a common occurrence. I would be surprised, too. Either way. Excited to be here. As, uh, as promised or as I uh, as I alluded to at the end of the previous stream I did um prismatic shard from fishing treasure that's it's like a point it's like a ridiculously low stupidly low chance it's like a once every like 2000 hours of gameplay type of, type of thing unless you're fishing like non-stop but um sorry my nose is a little run my nose is a little runny right now. I, I made the mistake of eating a... Uh, I had to, like, get something quick to eat. And uh, so I, I, there was, like, a, a leftover pulled pork and jalapeno wrap that I had in my fridge. So I so I ate that, and now my nose is, like, all runny from the from the spices of the jalapenos. It was good, but it was, like, now now I'm all, all flustered and flummoxed. I have not kept up with the stream lore because of your being way too invested in Tears of the Kingdom. It's an acceptable excuse. Dude, everyone's going crazy over Tears of the Kingdom coming out. Everyone's sleeping on something that I've been, I'm very excited for. It's a it's an extremely deep cut, but um Battle Kid Fortress of Peril comes out on the Nintendo Switch today. And uh you may be like what the heck is that? It's it's got a storied history that game. It is an NES game that came out in 2010. Is it came out for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 2010, um, not officially licensed by Nintendo, but it's it's a it's a fantastic game. I fell in love with it when I first discovered it. Everything about it had been dormant for so long, and then I discovered it's coming out on the Nintendo Switch, and I'm like, what the heck? That that's allowed? I thought it was like an illegal like homebrew game. Well, not illegal, but like <laughs> I didn't know that Nintendo would 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 allow for that. But here we are, and I'm excited to to revisit it one day. So that's uh. That's been on my radar for a while. Either way, battle kids aside, battle children aside, um, I did do some geode farming between streams. Like I said, I was going to. I, di I didn't have a whole lot of time between streams. Obviously, it was a, it was a pretty quick turnover, just like between two days here. But I didn't want this to be like a full on nonstop geode farming stream. So, because we need a lot, we still need a lot of magma geodes to get all the iridium ore that we need. Last we left off, by the way, exclamation point goal. I should actually, I should get that set up. Exclamation point goal. There we go. Build a desert obelisk is what we're working towards. The iridium and the money are the main things standing between us now. Between us and finishing off that goal. Very exciting times to be here. The, th the third goal is, is approaching faster than any of us expected, I think. Although fast is a relative term, exclamation point playtime. Either way, I did a little off-screen grinding for geodes. We need, um, we need 61 more iridium ore in addition to what we have. We need, because we currently have four iridium ore. And I am feeling confident. 
I am I am feeling very confident because after a calamitous, outrageous, enormous amount of off-screen grinding that I did, I ended up with a whopping, would you believe it, 17 magma geodes to my name. 17 magma geodes. Plus, like, these 483 that are, like, sitting in my fridge as well. But, um... <laughs> yeah, we got 500 magma geodes. So, uh... <laughs> We're, we're gonna be opening geodes for the next little bit. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a heavy geode opening stream. We got ten times the amount that we've normally been opening. <laughs> you don't totally fell for that. It's a little more than seventeen. It's a little more than seventeen. I just want I just, we do a little trolling around here. We do a little trolling. So I mean, let's start things off right here. Um, it did take a few days. We, we're just past the Egg Festival. I did not go to the Egg Festival. I skipped the Egg Festival this year in the interest of geode farming. Two hours of just geode opening. I am going to take a, a chest to Clint this time. I think that's the that's the best way to do it efficiently here. So, um, But before we do that, start a poll up here. How much Iridium Ore will we get from... 500 magma geodes. Is it going to be... I mean... Or I, I, it makes sense because 500 is like 10 times 50, right? So might as well just do 10 times the, the ratios. So the first bracket is going to be 0 to 20. Um, second bracket is going to be 21 to 40. Is that right? Yeah, 21 to 40. No, wait... Hold on, I'm doing this wrong. Zero, zero to thirty, right? Zero to thirty. Yeah, because I was doing, I was doing like zero to three before, and then this one, then it'll be like thirty-one to. Was I doing this right? I don't remember. I don't remember what the ranges were last time. Thirty-one to fifty. No, thirty-one to sixty. Sixty-one to ninety. Yeah, this feels right. This feels right. And ninety-one plus. Okay. This, these are our ranges, ranges of 30. Shun the less than 30 non-believers. I mean, I don't want to say it. I really hope we don't get less than 30 out of 500, uh, 500 magma geodes. But only time will tell here. Ask your community. Let's see how this goes. We got a lot We got a, a lot of loot boxes to open. I'm going to go ahead and store this Iridium more for right now, just so we have a nice uh, clean total. And, uh, I mean, I need to come back to smelt the Iridium more anyway, so I might as well just leave it here. 500 magma geodes. I'll also leave the coal. Um, we'll leave the mushrooms as well. Might as well clear up as much inventory space as possible. We'll leave the pickaxe as well, because we don't need any of that for geode opening. This is all we need for geode opening is our good luck charms and the geodes themselves. So let's go ahead and get it. We're going to get 62. We need 61. We need 61 in addition to the four that we already have. So uh, let's go get it. <laughs> let's go make magic happen, shall we? By the way, tomorrow they're holding the Egg Festival. I, I guess I missed that memo. My bad. I will go grab the mushrooms for the day. We'll do our garbage run, and then we will put Clint through his paces. Clint's going to have his work cut out for him. His arms are going to be little spaghetti noodles by the time we're done with them. The chest? The chest. You're, you're absolutely right. You're 100% correct. I see people screaming, The chest! The chest! You can't, you can't do this without a chest! And part of me wants to spite you and just say, watch me, but I also know that I would be here, like, literally all day. And I get, is this chest? This chest has things in it. So I can just do this. Pop that one. Okay. Thank goodness that we got two chests from the night market. That's <laughs> that's a, that's going to be a big saving grace right now. Because I could not put a fridge over there. I, I guarantee that. I don't think Clint would look too fondly on that if I just plopped a fridge down in his, in his workspace. Then again, who is he to complain? I'm about to pay him so much money to open all these geodes, and then about to, and then I'm gonna sell all the stuff back to him, and he's gonna lose money on it. It's just that's the way we do business around here. Buff Clint fan art incoming. <laughs> Wickedy said that I did deserve seven or ir seven iridium more. <laughs> Seven iridium ore out of 500. Does she know I have 500 magma geodes? 
She's streaming right now, so we can like do like a weird dialogue, but <laughs> I wish her all the best in her challenge. I hope she gets many fruitful shipping and crafting and, and production days in her uh, role for initiative challenge that she's doing. She's doing. Very similar in concept. Exclamation point wickety, by the way. Exclamation point wickety. Good friend of the show. We got a single normal geode as well. You know what? I, I don't want to taint my geode possibilities. We're going to go ahead and just toss that one. She does know I have 500, and she still says I'm going to get 7. <laughs> or that I deserve 7. Okay, well. Hopefully, hopefully we get at least 7. Hopefully at least 7. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead. I'll just plop this chest right here. Nestle myself nice and cleanly right at the at the top of the morning for Clint's hours here. How many star shards will we get? That's a, that's also a great question. I would have pulled that as well if I were allowed multiple pulls, but that's not how YouTube works, I'm afraid. Starting off strong. When will we get our first iridium is the real question. A few tiger's eyes. Sam could never. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be spam clicking through this as much as possible, and we'll we'll see how it goes. This feels like an algo stream, doesn't he? Do like a bunch of G, like Omni Geode opening sessions at a time, or not Omni? He does he opens artifact troves because he needs the artifacts for his uh, 999 challenge, right? Maybe she needs seven from each geode. That would be nice. <laughs> that would be very nice indeed. All right. We're in for the long haul here, folks. <laughs> it's moments like this where I wish I were allowed to upgrade my backpack. Nine times out of ten, I'm totally fine without a backpack upgrade. This is this is the one time out of ten where, I'm, where I wish I had one. There's our first star shards of the grind, by the way. You'll love to see it. Still no uh, still no iridium ore yet, but that's all right. We got we got a lot of geodes ahead of us. I have a feeling we're gonna have some nice, uh, we're gonna have some dry streaks, but we're also gonna have good runs of Iridium. Do you think we'll get the the legendary 11 or 11 Iridium ore drop at any point here? Out of 500 geodes, more star shards, by the way, nice. I don't know. I don't know, it's such a rare chance that even in 500 geodes, I don't think you can expect to get it, but it's uh, it's definitely on the table, it's on my radar. It's such, such an absurdly rare chance. Gambling stream is basically what this is. I mean, we have we have no control over this. We're just dumping money into this. We should get money back after we sell everything, though. First Iridium. Three Iridium Ore is now on deck. First three Iridium Ores has arrived. At least we're not sitting at zero. Could you imagine opening 500 Geodes and getting zero Iridium Ore? <laughs> I would cry real tears and then end the stream. I'd be like, this is not my day. This is this is not meant to be. Alright, let's go ahead and set this up the appropriate way here. Um, go ahead and dump everything. Looking good, looking good so far. You're fine with this kind of gambling? The like the gotcha loot box system? It's fun. I mean especially if you're not investing like actual real money into it. In, in this case, we're just investing uh, our hard-earned dollars. It's um, you're right. This is this is a, this is a nice kind of gambling. Why is this so captivating to watch? It's I don't know. It's it's like subway surfers, right? It's just satisfying in a way. You like never know what you're gonna get, and when you get those uh, when you get those big rare drops, like like we're not gonna get any prismatic shards or anything, unfortunately, out of this. That would be uh, the ultimate loot box. If we were doing this with Omni Geodes instead of Magma Geodes. But the Iridium Ore drops, the Star Shards, it's all uh, all those little hits of dopamine interspersed. And then when we actually sell all the stuff that we get uh, back that we don't that we don't need, then it's gonna be even better, I think. On track for 30 ore. <laughs> I did the math, r slash, they did, they did the math, and um, to get 61 Iridium Ore, on average, 
you would need 530 Magma Geodes. So we're pretty close to that. If we get above average luck across the entirety of these 500 Geodes, then we should be at least near the 60, 61 Iridium more that we need. That said, it's not looking that promising off the, off the top here. Keep the copper, iron, and gold. I guess that makes sense to keep to keep the ore. I've, mo I've mostly been selling it because it's uh, it takes up inventory space. Obviously, when we're when I guess I don't need to do that when we're opening up to when we're opening up geodes without a chest. But with the chest, it makes sense to keep them because then that way I won't have to spend money on these ores in the future. That makes sense. We've doubled our star shark count already. <laughs> And it's only going up from here. We got double digit star shards now. That's insane amounts of luck. You you wouldn't even believe it. I'm starting to think they're like leeching the luck that we need from uh from the iridium ore though. How many star shards will we have by the end of this? Could not tell you. <laughs> I'm scared to know. I'm scared to know the answer. I don't know what the odds on a star shard are. I feel like they're. They're about the same odds as like any other geode mineral, right? Like I don't, th I think all geode minerals have about the same odds from from their respective geodes. If I'm not mistaken, we're definitely low rolling, but we're still. I mean, we still have 413 geodes to open. You might look at that and be like, "Oh, we've op almost opened 100 geodes, and we've only gotten three iridium ore." And they're like, "Yeah, that's not that's not a great odds, but we still have a long, long way to go." So I'm not sweating it. I am not sweating it in the slightest. I have faith in pro in the odds of uh, probability. Told ya. We're, now we're up to five, and just you wait. We're gonna get a six drop in the next few, and then everyone's gonna be everyone's gonna be pogging out of their mind. Just you wait. Just you wait. Alexander Hamilton. Betting on twenty-five star shards. That's probably a safe bet. I don't know why that feels right, but it does feel right. One more Iridium more. Every little bit counts. Maybe last stream we got really lucky with the Iridium. There's no doubt that last stream we got pretty lucky, at least with uh, with most of our Iridium. Like, we got the, the six Iridium more drop twice, which is like the highest amount of, or the second highest amount of Iridium you can get from a single Geode. But we don't need those big drops. If we just get a little, like, uh, like, a trickle feed of iridium here, a little titrated iridium across all these geodes, then we'll be we'll be happy. We are down past our first hundred geodes. We got eight iridium ore to our name. It's starting to come a little bit faster. You know what they say, though. Slow and steady wins the race, and, and fast is the hand that feeds the bird in the bush. What do you mean, mixed metaphors? A lot of base salt, a lot of Neptunite, a lot, a lot of gray stones out of this batch. It's a very, it's a very gray assortment. The iron ore, it's it's just full gray. It's all monochrome, except for this one lone uh, obsidian over here. <laughs> what the heck is going on with this batch? There, even more obsidian? Save it for befriending Sebastian, maybe? We finally broke the monochrome cycle. Mixed metaphors will burn that bridge when we get to it. That's what I'm saying. We're on the same wavelength here. Double-digit iridium has been achieved, by the way. 11 iridium ore. Only 50 to go. Oh, the sixth drop! We got our first sixth drop. Hopefully not our last sixth drop as well. 17 iridium ore. I think we've officially gotten every single quantity of iridium already. Except for the, uh, the 11 drop. But the six, the six drop, I think the six drop is like, what, like a 9% chance? A 9% chance multiplied by the 5% chance of getting Iridium in the first place. So, uh, so significantly lower than 9% sounds like. 
but not so low that we're not going to see it, as, as evidenced. A little bit of Jasper. We've probably gotten every uh, every mineral that we can get out of Magma Geodes now as well, right? On this grind. I know we've already gotten, like, and donated all of them. But I'm pretty sure we've uh, already gotten uh, at least one of each one now. Obsidian is normally a glossy black co color too. Obsidian is so cool. I, th I think Minecraft has people confused on Obsidian. Obsidian's not really, like, that hard like it is in Minecraft, right? It's not, it's not like, that tough. Is it, I thought Obsidian was, like, glass. It's probably, like, tough glass. Like, it's, like, volcanic glass. But it's not, like... So it's not like you're gonna, like, shatter it by, like, throwing a baseball at it, probably. But I don't know. Maybe I don't know that much about Obsidian. Oops. It's very fragile, yeah. I feel like the, the Minecraft version of Obsidian is more in line with something like like Brimstone or something. I don't even know. Am I going to still sell the Star Shards? I mean, once you st get, start getting to a certain amount of Star Shards, I feel like the... The luck is overwhelming. I kind of miss the days, honestly, when we just had one star shard. I feel like maybe only our first star shard was lucky and all the rest are just uh, superfluous. So we might end up selling all but like one star shard. We'll, sa we'll save our first one. Another six drop! Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's like back-to-back -back six drops too. Not back-to-back -back geodes, but like back-to-back -back ir iridium. So we're almost, we're getting close to being out of our first bracket here as far as the polling goes. You love to see it. 25? 25? 0 to 30 believers are sweating right now. They're sweating bullets. How many people how many people voted 0 to 0 to 30? I gotta I gotta check. 11% of chat right now is is definitely sweating. They're starting to wish they had a little more optimism in their veins. How many Iridium Bars do we already have? I believe we have 7 Iridium Bars, so we need 13 more, which is uh, 65 ore. We already have 4 ore back at home, so we need 61 here. And we're not even halfway through our Geodes, and we've already got 25. I mean, things are looking alright. Things are looking okay here. More than a third of the way there. Your friends and you consider doing a multiplayer farm for this challenge, or each player... Hold on, I wanted, I wanted to catch that, because... Where each player has a different goal to get to. Sounds fun and chaotic. I would love to love to see and or hear about how that uh, how that goes for you, Mega Gem. That is a fun idea. Best of luck to you. That that seems like it could be a, a really interesting and cool approach to the, to the randomizer as a whole. Better than the Iron Bar luck. So far, so far. I mean, across a sufficiently large sample size, you expect the odds to even out. The question is whether 500 geodes is a sufficiently large sample size. I'd like to think it is. It took me a long time to get 500 geodes. How long do you th how long do you guys think it took me like real time? To, to farm up 500 magma geodes. I was like pause buffering to make the most out of every day. So I wasn't getting like 50 per day like I was previously. Five hours. Ooh, more iridium. You love to see it. It was it was it was about four to five hours. Four to five hours. So it's I mean not terrible, but like I'm glad I didn't do it on stream, is all I can say. It was uh it was a grueling four to five hours. Especially when like sometimes you get like you know, a straight, like, five minutes where you just don't get a single magma geode out of it. And you just, you're just hating life. Wishing you were doing anything else. I have, I have a lot of patience. As evidenced by the fact that we got 500 geodes in the first place, I think. But, uh, <laughs> that was testing my limits for sure. What is that, 12 star shards we're up to now? 45 hours. I know, how'd I do 45 hours in between streams? Crazy, right?
That's like half the runtime of the challenge. <laughs> Come on. We're 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 all we're closing in on the halfway mark. And we're not quite at 30 yet. If we can if we can get up to 30 by 250 geodes remaining, which is looking looking good, it's looking even better now. Then uh then we're we're on track to get what we need here. I think we've got pretty average luck so far based on like just my back of the napkin math that I got going on in my head right now. I think this is relatively average luck. You can buy the ore later, so you think you should sell it? Because we need we need a million. I mean, we need all the money we can get. That's very true. I'll see how much the ore is all worth once I uh, once I'm finished here, I suppose, and then I'll make a judgment call at that point. You're gonna flip if we're one already and more short. <laughs> we get 60 out of 61. I'm gonna tell you right now. If we are short, like if we don't get all all 61 that we need, I don't think I'm going to go back to magma geode farming. I think I want to get, I could probably just handle getting my last few from Skull Cavern just by doing a, the, get, I trade all my jades in for staircases. I'll probably grind up a few more jades, so I'll like sleep through a few days in order to get more jade. Then get the staircases, then go to Skull Cavern and try and get an Iridium Bar that way. I think that's just more fun overall. And if I only need, like, a couple bars after everything's said and done here, then I will be, uh... And I think that's the best way to go about it. Officially halfway through. So if we keep up this rate, we'll we'll get 56 Iridium Ore. But, who knows, maybe, maybe we're luckier in the back half here. We'll see. I believe. I have a napkin in my head. D you don't? I think it's important to carry a napkin everywhere you go, and I carry my head everywhere I go, so, I mean, it, it just makes sense. Can you sell bars to Clint? I believe you can, yeah. You can sell the ore, so I don't know why you wouldn't be able to sell the bars. Selling bars is a good idea. Oh, so if we... Because if we process the, uh... If we process all the ore, now that we have a furnace, like we process all the copper, the iron, and the gold bars, we could get more money out of it. Like the... Our, like the f five ores plus one coal, we sold that, how much do we get versus how much we get from a bar? There's The, the bar is more profitable, right? Because, I mean, I would hope it was more profitable. Profitable. <laughs> That's like basic e economics right there. We put some work into it, so we should get more money out of it. In theory. So excited for the prospect of rolling a new goal. I am too, but I, I've kind of accepted my lot in life. I've accepted that the that the randomizer is is really putting me through the ringer, at least, especially at the start here. So I am fully ready for goal number three to be like Ginger Island or something like that. I've I've accepted my reality. My destiny is to is to suffer. I brought it upon myself, and I'm going to welcome it with open arms. Clint will buy the bars. I'm pretty confident of that. It's probably it'll, it'll probably be good to like double check before I actually commit to processing all the ore, but uh, but I'm fairly confident that he will. You think I'll get a few e few easier ones before I get another one like this? <laughs> I mean, exclamation point optimism and all that. Yo, it's been a while since we've seen a star shard. Not bad. Imagine next goal is befriend Krobus. I mean, we already have access to Krobus, so that wouldn't even be that bad. And then we'd have the potential to marry Krobus in the future. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be over the moon. It's a lot easier than bef befriending the dwarf, at least uh, right now it is. You want goal three to be ridiculously easy, and then goal four to be super hard again. That would be nice to, like, the game could, like, fake us out into thinking we're about to, you know, get a little break. It's like, oh, we just have to, you know, craft the gate. Perfect. Easy. You do that and go back to get goal number four. Oh, build a golden clock. Great. My favorite. (laughs) 
We're a little dry on Iridium for the past few past few geodes here. That's for that's for darn sure. We're down to below 200 geodes. Um, I mean, we and we haven't gotten any Iridium ore in like the past like 50 plus, like 50 to 60 geodes. I'm uh, I'm 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 waiting for it. I'm waiting for the drop here. 20 coal. 20 coal is pretty rare. <laughs> On track for 47 ore. That would be that would be lowballing the average for sure. We would, we would be considered unlucky if we got 47 ore. I think. Because if my math was correct, you get an average of 0 0.1225 iridium ore per geode. So multiply that by, uh, or d divide, wait. Yeah, multiply that by 500 and that's how much we should get. Have to believe. I mean, I do believe, I do believe. I'm just, uh, I'm just missing the iridium ore right now. We haven't had a drop in a while. But I believe we can still get there. <laughs> we are really high rolling on coal. You're not wrong about that. It's, it's times like this where I wish as well that like geodes weren't seeded in the order that like you get them. Because like if we got if we weren't happy with our iridium ore supply, I could just like reset and try again with my 500 geodes. But we're gonna get the same result with these 500 geodes every single time. So it's just uh, we just gotta accept what we get here. We need an 11, an 11 ore, ore drop so bad to catch up. We're due. We're d all I'm going to say is that we're due. We're due for a drop of, of any kind at all, really. It's a 5% er, uh, yeah, chance for Iridium, period. So we've, we're, definitely, uh, <laughs> we're definitely missing the odds here. We at least have to make it out of the, like, 0 to 30 range. Like, come on. We're so close. Walsh, I believe I believe the command you'd be looking for is exclamation point FAQ, or uh, there's a link to the rules and guidelines in the, in the description. If you're looking for the rules of the challenge. Probably should change that to just exclamation point rules because it's not as much an FAQ as it is a as it is a rules guide at this point. It's been over a hundred geodes since the last thirty or more. Oof. When you put it in perspective like that, I mean, come on, we're gonna get a nice string of iridium pretty soon here, and we'll all be laughing. We'll all be laughing all the way to the bank. I'm not sweating it. We still... 146 geodes? That's still a lot of geodes to open. Like, 146 is a, is a rather large number of geodes. It's no 500, but it's a, it's a sizable portion. There we go. All right, and it's three, so we get over 30. So we're, we're officially out of the zero to 30 range. The Iridium drought has ended officially. <laughs> Thank goodness. Pumpkin Magpie, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. That is so generous. Thank you so much. All my worries are gone, but I'm um, popped in to say these streams and VODs have been a huge stress relief for me and I, as I completed my thesis this year. Thank you so much for fostering this community. I'm happy that you're a part of this community, Pumpkin Magpie, and I'm glad that I could do, uh, do what I could to help ease a stressful time in your life, potentially. Congrats to you on doing that, and uh, thank you so much for the support. Glad to have you here. A little bit more iridium, okay, okay. 32. At this point, I'm I'm going to be happy to get to, like, 40. <laughs> I was really hopeful. I was really hopeful. And, I mean, we still got a long way to go, but uh, the odds are not in our favor anymore. We're going to have to get a little lucky. These star shards are really going to have to come through in the clutch here. That's all I'm going to say. Clint is stealing the iridium and swapping it with coal. That's kind of how it feels right now, huh? <laughs> If I were looking for coal, I'd be I'd be having a great day. I'd be having a field day, as they say, with the coal, but... 33 iridium. We take those.
rip to the 91 plus believers. I, I can still get there. There's still a chance. Anything is possible. You just have to believe. We just have to believe a little bit harder, I think. I haven't asked for any pickaxe emojis yet, so you know what? Maybe that's the problem. We haven't dropped any pickaxe emojis in chat. Or not, not enough pickaxe emojis. Maybe we should try that. The pickaxes brought us pretty good luck last time, so maybe in these last like hundred or so here, we're gonna we're gonna need some pickaxes. The one iridium, the tease. <laughs> oh my gosh! When you get just one iridium, or does feel kind of like oh well, it's iridium, but like uh, could you be a little more or, or a little less stingy with it, please? Last stream gave us a false sense of security. We're almost down to to double digit geodes here. Entering the final stretch. The final hundred cometh. Can we get 30 more <laughs> iridium ore, roughly? Like what it would be 28 more iridium ore in a hundred geodes, I believe. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened, chat. This last hundred is where we make our stand. You better believe it. We're getting an 11 drop here. We might even get two. With all the pickaxes in chat, I mean, there's there's no way that we don't. If you're correct, the, on average it would take 250 more geodes to get all the iridium needed. Don't ever tell me the odds. That was my problem. I did the math. I shouldn't have done the math. I should have just believed in my heart that 500 would be enough. And I did. You know what? I truly did. And I still do. But it's not looking pretty. On track for 41 Iridium. We gotta beat the odds. Come on. Just any iridium ore at all. Like literally any. We, we gotta we gotta bolster. We're we we got a famine going on here. We got another another iridium drought has uh has has struck. We just get a few morsels here and there. We got those six drops earlier on. We got two six drops, and that's like <laughs> that was a sizable chunk of our iridium. We don't need anything else for the museum, not for magma geodes anyway. Clint is being stingy with us. I don't blame Clint for this one. Uh, he's he's just he's just doing the job he's being paid to do. It really is just the just the geodes are not on our side right now. Yo, iridium! <laughs> Three iridium, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a good start. Three more iridium in my heart. With the four we got at home, that's to that's a total of 40 ore right there. That's eight bars. Eight bars puts us in a pretty decent spot. I mean, when you when you put it when you when you frame it like that, that we got like eight bars waiting in reserve, in addition to the the seven that we already have, we got 15 iridium bars. That's pretty solid. We can't we can sell the dwarf gadgets in the shipping bin, yeah, because they don't count for the shipping collection. Three more iridium ore, oh baby! We might have another bar income, another bar incoming. We just need two more iridium, ore. one more iridium ore, a, a single more drop, single other drop for one more bar. We're just going bar by bar now. We're not. I'm not even looking forward to. I'm not even looking too far ahead at the, like the the 61 goal. Now I'm just looking one bar at a time. We need one more ore. And the bee song, bboss.ogg to bless these last 50. Come on. I need the iridium. I need to forge an iridium cleaver in order to take down the bee. Please. I need some I need just a little bit more iridium. Just just a morsel of iridium. Yes! It's 46! Give it to me! That's two more bars, right? Because we need one and then we got five more. Holy moly. We feel like we've got a chance. Chat, we've got a chance. There's there's still hope. There's still hope in these veins. 
Come on, come on. We gotta, we gotta keep going while the music is strong. While the B, the B music is strong, we gotta keep going here. It's bringing us great luck. It's bringing us fantastic luck. That combined with our star shards, we're, we're looking pretty. Come on. Come on. Give me, give me five more ore. Five more Iridium ore. It's asking a lot in 34 geodes. I, I understand that, but I've seen, I've seen crazier things happen. I've seen crazier things. The luck of the bees. The luck of the bees is strong. The bees are mining. <laughs> the bees with their little pickaxes. That's so cute. 28 more ge 28 geodes remain. 28 geodes later. We can still get 61. There's still a chance. I still believe. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me that 11 drop. Give me that sweet 11 drop. Come on, you owe me. You owe me game at this at this point. We're so overdue. We need that 11 clutch right now. We need it like right now. 11 would be so huge right now. Could you could you imagine in the final 19 geodes here getting an 11 drop? That's okay. That's okay. You know what? Every little bit of iridium helps. Every little bit of iridium helps. Give me two more ore. Two more ore and that's another bar. Come on. Come on. We got this. We got this. We're down to their final 10 almost. The 11 drop. The 11, 11 drops and 11 geodes? Come on. Could you imagine getting the 11 drop right now and getting right shot straight up to 60? Holy. I would go insane. Please. Please, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. It's never over until it's over. Four more geodes. Come on. Come on. Three, The final three geodes. Two more geodes. The final geode. Chat, we need all hands on deck. I need a, I need a swarm of pickaxes. And, and sparkling star shard emojis in chat for our final geode here, please. P please. We, we need it. We need all the luck we can get now. I just need, I just need a, a, I need a, a veritable mine of pickaxes in chat. Just, just, just load it up. Just load it up. We want a wall of pickaxes and stars. It's looking great. It's looking great. Come on. Come on. Please. Please, the final geode. Oh, it's copper ore. <laughs> oh, they heard our pleas for ore, and you meant, oh, co you, you, you want copper ore, right? Well, 49 iridium ore. 49. I, we got pretty lucky in the last little bit there. I can't, I can't even be that mad. Overall, not where, exa not exactly where we wanted to end up, but. I'll take it. 49 Iridium more. Pretty solid. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and sell all the minerals that we got here now. See where that puts us. This should be this should be a look just looking at these numbers. Um, we're looking at a pretty decent chunk of change here. Alright, sell, 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 sell. Holy sell. All right, that seems pretty good. Uh, we got some obsidian, some tiger's eye, and all this stuff we would want to process, ideally. Um, the dwarf gadgets will sell in the shipping bin. Um, let me just take it all at this point. All right, sell the obsidian, sell the tiger's eyes, up to $716,824. Welcome on in, Lisa. How many geodes did we start with? 500. <laughs> and we got 49 ore out of it. 49 ore. That's $4,900. Hey, you know what? That's a decent chunk of change. Um, We should definitely process this. Now, if we have the furnace, we have the technology, we should process this. Let me end the poll as well. 31 to 60 believers. I mean, we fell right into that average right there. I will take the chest, don't worry about it, yeah. I will definitely take the chest here. Star shards? I gotta... 
we're keeping the we're keeping our OG Star Shard. That's the original one. You can tell because the the pixels are slightly more vibrant than in all other Star Shards. That's the original actual lucky one. And we're gonna sell the remaining ones. These are all uh, they're all false profits, as it turns out. Just the one Star Shard. We diluted the pool too much. Sell them. This is the only good one. This is the only good one. I'm sorry that I, I tried to tried to crowd you, my star shard friend. It'll never happen again, I promise. Alright. Off we go. Back home with our 49 Iridium Ore. Not quite what we wanted, but it's a lot. I mean, it's it's a big step towards our, our ultimate goal here. There's no question about that. Imagine misclicking and selling the <laughs> selling the iridium. I would cry. I would cry for sure. But I mean, then I could I could still just open the geodes all over again and it'd be it'd be fine. All right, sell the dwarf gadgets, all twenty four of them. Get in here. And we'll go ahead and start smelting the iridium, I, guess, I suppose. <laughs> Total of 53 iridium ore right now. That's 10 bars. We are three bars shy of, of what we need. We are a total of three bars shy. I think we can get those three bars from Skull Cavern. I really do. If we just, if we just sleep a bit, get our jade grinded up, and then uh, and, and, try, and try our luck in Skull Cavern, I think we'll be, we'll be in a good spot. That said, we sh I should really sort my, my inventory out now. Let's go ahead and head over here. Let's grab our tools. I'm going to go ahead and deposit all this. Do I have any, uh, you know what? Take all the, like, all this, this, like, stone and stuff. Do I have any coal or anything else in here that's kind of, like, adjacent to this? I thought this was gold ore for a second. <laughs> that was a dang, those are dang apricots right there. else we got we got that that we want i want the pickaxe um we got the coal right there okay let's go ahead and move all this over here for right now i guess i could move this chest over to actually in the um to in with the where the furnace is and stuff but this is fine for right now i got clay in the fridge thank you 106 clay in the fridge I mean, we're probably going to be doing some clay farming at a certain point, so we'll we'll end up selling a lot of this clay, I would imagine. All right. Um. So let me sort out my inventory the way I like it. It's something like this. Yeah, that feels right. Keep that. Deposit these three. Take like nine coal just to have it ready to go. What was the dish of the day? Did we ever check? We gotta keep a, keep an eye out for those luck dishes still. Today's death special is pepper poppers. Pepper pop. I mean, Gus is open right now, so it's not a big loss to go and buy those. Those are like a speed buff, right? Pepper poppers. I mean, we already have some super meals for speed buffs, but having extra speed buff food is is never a bad idea. I don't think, especially because the saloon is already open. We did do the trash run, yeah. Have a good one there, Bex. Thanks for hanging out for the start here. Yeah, the ch the chests came from a little trick at the night market. Look back, I think it was like two vods ago, two or three vods, and we'll and we're there. Speed and farming sounds about right. Two plus two farming plus one speed. I'll take all three. I just made a decent chunk of change. I'm willing to willing to spend a bit. Obviously, we got to save up still to a million gold here, but we're getting pretty close. We are starting to get within striking distance of that. We, of course, had to get the most expensive obelisk currently obtainable. I know, right? I thought that when I, when I was looking at all the obelisks and saw that, like, this is the one that requires the most iridium. It's, it's like... A million as opposed to five hundred thousand. It's it was just a it was just a travesty in every way, shape, or form. All right, let's go ahead and lock in that day of geode opening. I'm satisfied. Call me uh, 
Angelica Skyler, because I'm satisfied. <laughs> I forgot her name for a second. 4,800 gold from all those dwarf gadgets as well. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. Thank you, Pi. Thank you for, for blessing this. Thank you for, you know... Thank you for your comfort in these trying times. Alright, let's see what... Oh, I should have gone to the desert... I should have gone to the desert trader yesterday. Because I could have traded my jades for staircases. That's okay. We'll just... We'll go ahead and... I'm not gonna... I was gonna check the luck to see if it was a skull cavern day, but I won't have the staircases anyway. So I'll wait until next Sunday. Then we'll trade all our jades for staircases, and then we'll get on that skull cavern grind. Thought the obelisks were 10 million for some reason. Could you imagine? Oh my god, I would, I, I would, that would be so painful. I should not keep the iridium bar on me. I should store that right there, just for a little extra storage space here, or a little extra space in general. Wildfires. I mean, I don't know the actual status of the of the wildfires themselves, how they're doing. I hope that they're able to fight them back reasonably well. But the smoke in my neck of the woods is is a lot better today. I can actually, like, see. <laughs> I can see reasonably far outside. There's still a definite tinge in the air, but I can see clouds in the distance, and it's, uh... And I hope those clouds are gonna bring rain. That is that is all I can hope for. Thank you for asking, though. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and store... I'm just gonna go ahead and store that in there right now. Nice and accessible within, within distance of the furnace. I can have one hand in the fridge, the other hand in the furnace. Here I am, stuck in the middle with, uh, with Beatrix. One hundred million for the obelisk. One hundred million for the golden clock, could you imagine? <laughs> One billion dollars! <laughs> we had a 9.8% rate for getting Iridium, if you calculated that correctly. Thanks for, ch thanks for checking that, Natalie. It sounds, you know... Like nine nine point I mean that's high. It's like the average of getting iridium ore is uh is five percent. Maybe we just low rolled on the actual iridium quantities themselves. Either way, have a good one there. Thank you for hanging out. Take care. Oops, sorry, I was didn't mean to didn't mean to crowd your personal bubble there, Shane. I mean guy who I don't know. Is there a reason to keep a mining buff food? I'm trying to think. Would would having a mining buff at any point serve any purpose? Probably not. It's probably just better off. Probably just better off selling it here. Well, come on in, Arusb. No worries on being late. It's totally fine. You, d you did miss a grand geode opening extravaganza. A true geode party. 500 magma geodes were opened. So that's basically all we've done so far. Oh, you know what I should do, actually? Um, number one is debris day, so I, so I need to do that. But I only have... Or do I even have the one desert warp totem anymore? I do not have any Desert Warp Totems anymore, at least that, unless, unless I missed it. I thought I still had one, but I do not see it here. I must have used it at some point to get that last Crystallarium, maybe. I guess, uh, but I should I should get some Omni Geodes to trade for the, for, to trade for more Desert Warp Totems. Before we do that, though, we will clear the farm of what debris we can. Debris Day keeps going strong every Monday. Hey, RSB, thank you for being a member for 13 months at the Electron level. Can't wait for two years. You're, I mean, you're you're on your way now. Thank you so much for the support. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Lucky number 13, baby. What do we still need from trash? Um, so Certain fish for the fishing bundles at the community center would be nice, as well as some forage for, like, some seasonal forage for the foraging bundles. Those would be the main niceties. There's probably some other stuff that I'm just not thinking of, but... 
I don't know. We could, we could probably afford to cut the uh, the garbage runs out of our day now. Now that we don't have anything that's like super mission critical to get, we could probably axe the, the garbage runs and make things go a little bit faster here. I would be okay with doing that. I mean, I'm, I am attached to the garbage runs on like a sentimental value. They do have a lot of variety. Let me put it up to a poll though. Let's uh, let's see. Because we don't really need anything specific from garbage right now. Should, whoops, I got a caps lock on. Should we keep? Should should we still check the garbage? Every day. If I axe garbage runs, will I gain foraging XP? It's a fantastic question. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, I see this sneaky little tree hidden back here. The garbage hat collection. I mean, it might be a sacrifice for the greater good. I'm just thinking in the interests of, like, time. That, like, the garbage runs ta do take up a significant amount of time every day. But, uh... But they are kind of a tradition around here now. Yeah, there's nothing specific that we need from garbage right now anymore. Let me... Let me do a quick... Hold on. I'm gonna go back to... Stardew Wiki. Garbage cans. Garbage can. Let me just do a quick browse... Because I know, like, cert like I said, fish for the fishing bundles, and and seasonal forage. Is there anything else remotely noteworthy that I that I would want to get? Gemstones are always nice, but I mean, I they're not mission critical. The metal bars you don't need to worry about anymore. Desert forageables, that's fine. Um, then it's just the, all the seasonal stuff. Yeah, I don't. Th I actually don't think we need anything out of garbage cans anymore, specifically. If if we want to complete the community center, which I mean, there's a strong chance that we will not be able to complete the community center, based on the uh, the ordering of our goals. So take take that with a grain of salt. If we want to complete the community center, then we have to keep going with them because it's a uh, because of the seasonal forage. That's the only way to really get them. Well, I guess it's not really the only way to really get them. We could take some foraging experience and be fine there, so... But, uh, the fish... The fish are the one thing. That would just tie me that. But I don't know. It just can't resist the RNG lure with the trash. The trash is a staple around these parts. I would be... I would be remiss to say goodbye to it, I would be... It, it would be a sad day for sure. It would feel wrong to not be checking the trash every single day. But these are the kind of decisions that you gotta make, that you gotta at least consider when you, uh, when, when we've got such, like, a long road ahead of us. We can put a pause on it just for Jade sleeping days. Yeah, but then you start to fall into, like, what-if-isms, where it's like, you know, what if we had gotten something really good if we had just checked it during those specific days? Like, what if what if we miss out on something great? All those what-ifs. We would never know. I mean, we, we technically could know, because we could check the, like, the Stardew predictor and see the see which days actually have the important stuff, but we all know how we feel about that around here. Like, chat says no to stopping trash runs. It's not like a like an overwhelming unanimous no, 64%, but it is, uh, it is enough for me to continue checking the trash for now. Which even the people who voted, like, that we should stop checking trash, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. We just keep checking trash anyway. I mean, that's what... That's been the de facto default state, so... Might as well just keep a, keep going with it. I think we're pretty well clear on debris here.
What if we get a prismatic shard from the trash? I don't believe that's possible. Or if it is, it's not listed on the wiki. Which you know, the wiki has been known to be wrong before, but I've I've still I've never seen a trash uh, a prismatic shard from the trash. Not that I'm the, the grand final authority in all things trash, but I have searched, like, a lot of trash cans in my time. I think if they were, like, a leaderboard for, like, most trash shirts in, in Stardew Valley, I'm not saying I'm number one. I'm saying I'm probably, like, in the top, like, 1%, though. I feel, I feel like I gotta be up there. I've searched a lot. A lot of trash. <laughs> Missed the baby tree behind a bush. Which bush? This bush? This bush. That bush, that bush. This bush. I'm, look I'm looking for baby trees behind bushes. Is it behind this bush that's also behind a tree? Is it behind that bush? Is it behind a bush up here? There are some bushes up here. Yeah, it is right there. Okay. Good eyes. Good eye. Good eye, mate. Only Haley's trash can would have it. That would require someone giving her a prismatic shard in the first place, which everyone knows better by this point, so... So she doesn't have any prismatic shards to throw out at all. That would be kind of a funny mechanic if there was, like, a chance... What If you, like, gave someone, like, a, a gift that they didn't like. Like, what if there was a chance to find it in their garbage the next day? It wouldn't really have any, like, practical mechanical benefit, but it would be pretty funny. All right, I think we're good. Let me have a quick look up here. Sometimes I, some, I do sometimes forget to check like this little roundabout area. Case in point. Like a super rare furn furniture drop in the trash can. That would be fun. People do throw out furniture from time to time. Usually not, like, in the trash cans themselves. That would be a bit odd, but, I mean, what are you going to do? You're not They're not just going to, like, leave it out on the road. <laughs> Who's even going to pick that up? Mayor Lewis? I don't think so. He's got he's got enough stuff to lug with, like, the, uh, the shipping bin and stuff. <laughs> okay. Grab the smelties. Get her going. And put the jade in there. Would be funny if it's a gift they like, so they'll be like, oh, thank you, but then throw it in the trash five minutes later. They just they just fake liking it. I mean, we've, we've all been in that position before where you had to, like, fake that you liked a gift, right? That's a, that's a universal experience. What if what if that's true of like all the liked gifts? What if what if no one is starting Pelican Town likes anything? What if they're all just cynical people, but they're too nice to <laughs> to say anything? Anyway, Gus, is your refrigerator running? So on and so forth. Cheese cauliflower. Not for me. No thanks. I'll take the shrimp. Me IRL. <laughs> I wouldn't say I, I, don't, I don't enjoy receiving gifts myself, but I don't want for gifts basically ever. Even like around like Christmas or my birthday or anything. I, I always just struggle so hard to come up with like a wish list for, for my family. Because I like want for nothing. If I, if I want something, I just like buy it usually. <laughs> And if it's something that I can't buy because it's, like, too expensive, I'm not going to ask for that for, pre for for a present because that's, like, insane. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish this poll here, I think. Still check the trash every day. 68%, 67%, my apologies, say yes. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with that for now. We'll see if we're kindly rewarded for that choice today. Or if the game's gonna gonna spit in our face. All right. So when this Sunday rolls around, you get you gotta remind me because I might forget. I probably won't forget, but I could forget. 
don't need to worry about any of that. To go to the desert in order to get the, um, in order to trade for staircases. Oh, speaking of, because I'm going to be going to the desert anyway, I should go to the mines, and we might as well do that today to get some Omni Geodes to trade for, uh, for Warp Totems. I don't need many. It's only three per Warp Totem, so we just need to do a little bit of Omni Geode farming. I had to say thank you for a gift as a child. For a gift as a child and said thank you for the stupid gift. <laughs> oh gosh, that's the best. It's true, kids don't really have any like filter for for like social etiquette. At least at a, at a certain age, they don't have that filter that's like uh, that we've all learned to, to have now. That politeness filter. It takes a while. It's not uh, it's not intrinsic, that's for sure. I mean, it's a, it's a stereotype for a reason, but kids really do be saying the darndest things. We're going to have to bear with the dings for a little bit here. Don't worry about it. We could even have a little fun with it. I could be like, what the... I didn't quite line it up right, I don't think, but <laughs> it's also not loud enough to be like a sensor beep, so it doesn't quite work, but it's fine. We're not going to be here long enough that I feel the need to to go and turn down the volume on these. I think I'm going to go ahead and get like not like nine max. I might just stop at six, depending on how long it takes to even get there. I would like to have just, just a few warp totems on hand. It doesn't need to be too many. kid has been told to say thank you and they don't really understand why. They just gotta have someone teach them. Teach them why the pleases and thank yous are are important. Teach them the golden rule. And not the one from uh not the one from the Lonely Island Island song. Son of a <laughs> Holy. I didn't even try to line it up that time. But... Oh, that's not uh, that's not the Omni Geo. Is anyone else annoyed by sensor beeps? Like in edited YouTube videos where they can just edit it out entirely? It does, I don't know, yeah, it feels like there's there's always a better way to do it than just the traditional, like, bloop, that sound. Like, that feel, it feels just like, that's like the lazy way to censor. There's always a more, like, fun way to do it. Like, you can just edit around it. You could even make it into, like, a little, a little cheeky joke where you, like, cut it off at the perfect time. There's, there's plenty of options. It's rare that the, that the, like... 48 hertz sensor tone is is the right way to go. Welcome on in, Jinx. Glad to have you here. We're already up to six Omni Geodes. I think, uh, I think getting to nine is reasonable here. Parents taught you to always be appreciative, appreciative of gifts. Unless it's a re-gift or someone gets you something... They know you don't like. I've I've never been in that position where someone. I mean, how would you know it's a regift? Number one, and if they get you something they don't like, I I always assume like if it's something you don't like, it's either because the person does not know you that well, but they're in a position where they they feel obligated to get you some kind of a gift, and so they just kind of like get you something and hope for the best. But if it's a person you know and they actively get something you you don't like, then it's like. Why are you even like inviting that person to your shindig? What's what's even what's even the purpose? They're trying to send you a message. You gotta you gotta take a hint. <laughs> it's still on them for giving you like a a nasty gift, but I've never even like heard of that that happening. That can't be a common occurrence, right? Could just be that they have a poor memory. That's also true, I suppose. 
But if it's someone you know sufficiently well, then like you could be like, wow, I hate this. And they'd be like, oh, sorry, I forgot. I didn't remember. And you'd be like, that's okay. It's fine. It's the thought that counts. And, and then just like, you know, water off a duck's back and all that. But it's, uh, it, it very much depends on the context. That's for sure. Oh, we already have one Omni Geode in there. Silly old me. We could, we could go, and, I mean, we could open. Part of me just wants to go open this one Omni Geode. I'm going to go do it. I don't know why. There's, there's a chance for a little more Iridium here. There's a, there's a very slim chance. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if this one Omni Geode this whole time contained, if it's the final key to the kingdom that we need? Could this be the 11 Iridium Ore Drop of our dreams? Nope. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. Would have been for would have been a pretty good moment. We did get some ore out of it at the very least. There's a star shard in there. I don't want to see any more star shards. We've we've already got our one lucky star shard. We we found the best star shard right off the bat, and and all others will just be inferior from now on. All right. Done and done. One little gold. A, a single morsel of gold. Ah, uh, the one furnace lifestyle is is not a lifestyle I was <laughs> I expected to be living. I mean, I should have thought like you know, I, I never thought that far ahead up until now. I guess is that I would just have one furnace for so long. And what that actually looks like when you're trying to smelt quant large quantities of bars. But, uh, here we are now. Here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Remember when you tried to smelt two bars? Oh, how we laughed and laughed. Except I wasn't laughing. Under the circumstances, I've been shockingly patient. I should go back and play Portal sometime. Portal and Portal 2. Some of the best games out there, especially as far as like just fun like puzzle games. I have good memories of playing uh playing through Portal 2 co-op with uh with my old buddy K6 Scope. Those were the days. That's so long ago now that I could easily play through like the the Portal 2 co-op again and still and have a an entirely new experience. It would be like, be, it would be new. What's old is new again. It would be a totally fresh experience in my mind. Is there a task to craft a furnace or something? There is, yeah. Every craftable item in Stardew, hey, a sandfish. Every craftable item in Stardew Valley has a, uh, has a goal associated with it. By the way, this sandfish is actually kind of big. <laughs> that's actually that's required for the uh, the specialty fish bundle, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Which one is it? Specialty fish. That is specialty fish. Yeah. We can't get the. I mean, the puffer fish would have to come from a garbage can. Ghost fish would have to come as a drop from a ghost. The wood skip has to be caught. There's there's no other way around it. That's one of the big stumbling blocks for the uh, community center, is the wood skip specifically. In fact, now that we've uh, lifted the restriction on monster eradication goal monsters, the wood skip might be the only thing standing between us and being able to actually complete the community center. Because there's no way to get a wood skip other than buying it from the traveling cart, which is off limits, or catching it yourself. So we have to get catch a wood skip before we get anything that requires us to complete the community center if we want to go that route. There's just no other way around it, I'm afraid. Checking trash does pay off, yeah. It's a good thing we didn't stop, didn't, isn't it? Wouldn't have had this uh, this derpy looking fish right here. We're gonna have to make a, a we're gonna have to get more uh, aquariums at some point here for all our little fishy friends. You have a goal for each fish. Everything that's required for perfection has a goal. Like, because, like, for perfection, you have to catch all fish, right? So, 
I broke that down into into each fish, and each fish has its own goal. So you cannot catch a fish unless you get the goal to catch the fish. This is the this is the very foundational bedrock of the randomizer. Is breaking down perfection into its uh, distinct, discrete elements, and each one has its own goal. Please let the crystallarium sink. Uh, if this is not a robocall, then maybe. It's Vincent! Yes, can we get some pig emojis in chat, please, for Vincent? This is Vincent. Dot, dot, dot. Do you have any piggies on your farm? Can we show... Chat, show him the pigs. Show him the piggies on the farm. He's... he's Look, he's so excited to see the piggies. There's the piggies! Look, Vincent! We finally got some piggies for you. <laughs> there you go. One day, maybe we'll have actual piggies for him, but... Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I gotta go. All right, see ya, buddy. See ya. Such a wholesome child. You hadn't looked that deep into the depths of the insanity I created for myself? I mean, if you didn't know it by now that I was, that I was deep in the depths of insanity after exclamation point playtime number of hours... I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we we are deep into the weeds of the randomizer. The randomizer has me in its thrall, and it's not letting go anytime soon. That's a great farm layout. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of my farm so far. We're 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 off to a great start. Also, it's a multiple of three days, so our fruit trees are ready. There's insanity, and the, then there's this very specific insanity that I'm boggling about. <laughs> yeah, I got my own specific brand of insanity. Hey, an ancient doll. It's actually, I mean, we were we were hankering for one of those towards the end of the giftathon. It's good to get that off the off the table here. Might as well go donate that. How long am I planning to stream for? Usually, I end up streaming for uh, for like four to five hours a day. Up, for, up from three to four hours to four to five hours, usually. Depends on the day, though. So we still got uh, still got a ways ahead of us here. I would imagine you wouldn't be here if you didn't enjoy some some flavor of insanity, Malehu. <laughs> I feel like we're all we're all in that boat together now. We're all in this together. Farming jade, trade for stairs, go through the skull caverns. Isn't there something I can trade for on Thursday in the desert? I believe Thursday is magic rock candy, right? So I would need three prismatic shards for that, which is a bit of an ask. It's a bit of a tall order for me. Maybe if I had opened 500... Uh, Omni Geodes instead of Magma Geodes, there's, there's a chance I would have three Prismatic Shards, but even then. Like, out of 500 Omni Geodes, on average, you should expect, what, two Prismatic Shards, maybe? Probably, probably lucky if you even get one, honestly. <laughs> but... But I think it is a 1 in 250 shot. Oh, I forgot to donate the, the Ancient Dolls, my bad. We can just, we'll swing by tomorrow anyway, so it's not a big deal. Don't get me wrong, the fact that the Crystallariums have not synced up, or are not synced up, like we got three and one going on right now, it does bother me to a certain extent, but I've also kind of come to to accept it and appreciate it. There's, there's something there's something nice about it. Instead of, like, cause, because they're off sync, we get Jade more, more frequently, in theory. Like, there are more Jade days, even though, like, one of the Jade days is only one Jade. And then the other ones are like three jade. 
but something about it psychologically just like feels kind of better. I don't I don't know how to explain it. Don't get me wrong, part of, part of it does cause me psychic damage just seeing the asynchronicity of the crystallariums, but for now I'm willing to accept it. 20 hours of sleep per day for for Chloe. Excuse me, this is this is Beatrix's lifestyle. I mean, don't Chloe definitely pioneered the like sleeping for for 23 out of 24 hours a day lifestyle, but Beatrix is catching up. Well, she, maybe she's not catching up. Chloe did do a lot of sleeping in the Price Perfection. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of ground to make up there. Is it possible to get the Geode Crusher from the bats on the farm? Um, no. For the Ge for the Geode Crusher, because for the Geode Crusher, it's the quest is like Cave Patrol, right? Where you have to like slay a certain number of monsters that Clint uh, designates. And I'm pretty sure. I actually I haven't actually tested that. I haven't actually tested it, but I'm, but like, for most things where it, like, tracks monsters like that, killing monsters on the farm does not count. Maybe that's the exception to the rule. I don't know. We can test it, but test it when Cave Patrol comes around again, provided that it's a, it's a monster that does spawn on the farm. Because I think it could be, like, it's, it's not guaranteed to be, like, bats or slimes or whatever. It could be, like, dust sprites or something, too, so... Oh, I, I can actually just take the, the minecart back. Yeah, daily farm picture, that is a mod. It's a it's called just daily screenshot. It's easy enough to find if you just like Google Stardew Daily Screenshot mod. It should be like probably the first option I would imagine. I forgot to donate the ancient doll again. One day one day I'll actually do it. Right now I'm just happy to let it keep me company. Don't worry, Star Shards, you're not being replaced. Not by this uh this cloth or clay monstrosity, whatever the ancient doll is made of. Is it, like, its proportions are all out of whack. One leg is, like, significantly longer than the other. One arm is, like, all, like, warped. I mean, it, it was buried in the ground. I gotta give it some leeway, but come on. The fundamentals of that doll, it's all, it's all over the place. We've almost smelted all our iridium ore that we can. What are we up to? 14 iridium bars. We're climbing. We are climbing towards that goal. One little bar at a time. I see a little silhouette of a bar. Trout soup, trout soup. Broken leg. He's just kind of doing like the stanky leg. Isn't that like a dance that was like popular in like the, the mid 2000s or something? Stanky leg dance move. Anyone ever do the the shopping cart dance move where you pr pretend like you're pushing a shopping cart and you're reaching up and down to grab cans from a from a shelf up high? I don't remember where I first saw that move, but it's uh it's burned into my brain forever because it's so it's like got such like da dad energy. It's like a dance a dad would do at his like if, <laughs> at like his kids like high school dance or something. I would show it off, but I don't want to embarrass myself. Are we waiting for a particular thing right now? Right now, I'm waiting for Sunday, so I can go to the desert and trade my jades for staircases, as well as my Omni Geos for um, warp totems. So we'll do that tomorrow, and then we're going to be checking luck for a good Skull Cavern day. That is that is the current uh, mission statement. That is the current goal. I could be making more more use out of these days by clay farming for money, but realistically, it's going to be so much faster if we can get to winter again and do more um, winter tilling. And I think just I think going for clay farming, I could probably do some clay farming in between streams in my off time, but I don't want to I don't want to bog down in the streams too much with with that sort of content. If it was winter tilling, then it would be different because that that kind of goes a lot faster. It's a lot more profitable. But clay farming itself is just, it's, it's, it's too slow to be, uh, for me to want to invest much time in there on stream here, if that makes sense. So for right now, we're just kind of speed running. Ancient doll. All right, you got me. I'm still close enough to the minecart 
I don't mind going back into going back into the town and taking care of this. Here you go, Gunther. Taking my little friend away from me. You t you take good care of that fellow, all right? I never even gave him a name. <laughs> Look at all those daffodils just taunting me. It's gotta be, like, just anecdotal evidence, but I feel like on these runs where you're not allowed to pick up forage because of the foraging experience and stuff, more forage spawns. It, it just feels that way. It's because there's always so much forage just all over the place taunting me. I know that's not actually true. I know it's just, you know, confirmation bias, basically, but it's uh, <laughs> it definitely feels that way. You'll give him a name, Michael? That just makes me think of, uh... Makes me think of Don't Hug Me, I Was Scared. There was a young boy named Michael. The ugliest boy in town. Or alternatively, hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Where are your fingers? Alright, Gus. Show me some good luck food, please. You know what? We're going to the desert anyway. Why don't we check? It's not a good luck day, okay? If it was a good luck day, then, I mean, we could have actually made a Skull Cavern run out of it. But it's not. So we're going to wait for at least at least Gold Pyramid Day. I think Gold Pyramid Day I can settle for, especially because I have the, uh, the Pumpkin Soup buff, which is plus two luck. If I only had star, if I only had uh, the plus one luck buffs, then I would probably wait for a star drop luck day. But I think golden pyramid is is fine, just because I'm it, I'm itching to get back to Skull Cavern. I really think we've got to, I, I I really think we've got a good chance of getting our last iridium from those treasure rooms, and I am so ready to get back there after after all the uh, the geode farming and all that stuff we've been doing lately. It'll be a nice little. Nice little change of pace. Name was Das Doll, Ancient Doll. Yeah, we're not picking up any forgeables because um, some of the goals in the randomizer are to level up in your skills. So we're not allowed to level up in any skills until we get a goal to do so. Which means that we have to be very judicious with our with how we allocate our experience points in those skills. So no forgeables for me, not from the ground anyway. Laura DeVee, thank you for being a member for 13 months at the Electron level. I greatly appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Just popping in to say hi, hello to yourself. And thank you again. Don't I have a pretty strong chance to get the Iridium I need from just one more day of geode farming? Yeah, but it's like geode farming. And honestly, probably not, like, all the Iridium that I need. I need, what, like, uh... Like, 11 more Iridium or something like that? 11 more Iridium more? And on a good day of Geode farming, if I, like, really laser-focused, I could probably get 100 Magma Geodes. Um... It's, uh... I mean... <laughs> get, getting 11 ore out of, out of 100 Geodes is doable, but I don't know if it we're on the uh, on the good side of the odds there or not. Don't mind me. I just decided to stand here. Why, do, why are you crowding my personal space? Hey, get back here! Lady! Get back! Why were you crowding my personal space? I, I That was my spot to hang out. Hey, stop running! Why are you running from me? Why are you running away? Why are you running away? I'm gonna give this lady a piece of my mind. Hey, you! I wasn't done talking to you. I was just minding my own business, loitering about. Where are you going? You do get back here. You get. Oh my gosh. Do you see the nerve on this lady? What the heck? All right, fine. Take me to the desert. Whatever. Some people, man. Some people are just so inconsiderate. How would you level up fishing without catching any any of the fish? On the fishing panel, you can do it via fish ponds or by catching wood and stone in the fountain by the community center. Those are the main ways to go about it. 
All right, three desert warp totems, please. Thank you. And all the jade in the world. All the staircases in the world, rather. 45 staircases. I think we had three back at home, so that makes for 48. Close enough for me to consider that a, a good Skull Cavern run opportunity. All right. And now we wait. I might as well set up my inventory nicely for Skull Cavern, because I know that's the next thing I'm going to do anyway. Well, I guess the next thing I'm going to do is probably uh, probably Debris Day tomorrow, depending on how things go, but I'll get my, get my inventory set up all the same. I'm not going to need the hoe. I'm not going to need... Honestly, I'm probably not going to need the Obsidian Edge. We're just going to be staircasing down anyway. Water and can is fine. Um, don't need the axe. I'll bring the Obsidian Edge. It's fine. I just feel more comfortable having it around, I guess. All right, we're going to have that, that. Um, we only need, we're only going to need, like, one Desert Warp Totem. So I'll store the other ones. Bring the staircases. Bring... Just bring one coffee. That's fine. And what else do I need? I would need the... Whatchamacallit. Pumpkin soup. Good soup. Perfect. Alright. I think these. this is everything we would want, right? This is everything we need for a Skull Cavern run. And now we just wait for the good luck day. My food? This is my food. And these. And these, but... Bombs? I wouldn't I wouldn't need bombs because uh I don't want to risk getting mining experience. We're we're just staircasing down. There's there's no other avenues for anything in Skull Cavern. This pickaxe is in the on the off chance that we get like a uh get surrounded by stones and have to like take a chance on one stone to put a staircase down. And the sword is to like protect myself if I get swarmed by monsters or something somehow. Alright, I think we're good. Rest on up. Start our jade pile anew. Smelt the last iridium bar that we can for right now. That's 17 iridium bars. We need three bars. How many can you get from Skull Cavern? Let me check this. Skull Cavern. I'm, I'm wikiing it. Let me wiki that. Skull Cavern, Treasure Rooms, Expand This Table, Iridium Bars. You can get two to three Iridium Bars from a single drop. So we could either we could either be sad and get 19, or we could go, like, insane and get, get three in one drop. If we could only get one, then that would, that would be a different story. But if we can get three... We might just go, honestly, until we, like... Like, we might just, like, reset this until we get three Iridium Bars. That would be huge. Either way, we're gonna go ahead and call Gus up, just to make sure. Lucky lunch? You gotta be kidding me! We've been waiting so long for that! Oh my gosh. Wait, what's the luck like today? Hold on. It's Gold Pyramid? Okay. I mean... I should still go today, but I do need to go. I need to get that lucky lunch. I need to get that. Uh, I don't. Should, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I think we're not. I think we're gonna pass on today. I can get that lucky lunch, and then that'll be even better. I think we should wait for that. I think that's the smart play right now. Buy the lucky lunch and wait for star drop luck. I'm, I'm willing to do lucky lunch plus gold pyramid. If I can get star drop luck, then all I'm, that's even better. But. uh... All right, we're going to do it like this. I'm just taking the axe for now just because I'm going to do Debris Day today. It all lines up. It's, it's, <laughs> the stars are aligning. The star shards are aligning. Once we sold our excess star shards, things just started falling into place. Once we accepted that that's what we're going to do. Welcome on in, Zombo. Good to see you. No worries that you can't stick around for long. I appreciate seeing you at all. Hopefully we get a decent amount of lucky lunches from the uh, from the saloon. Even if we only get one, that's 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 gonna be fine. But uh, but the more we can get, the better for sure. Obviously, because then we'll have uh, some for future proofing. Oh, I forgot to check the. Uh, I forgot to get these fruits yesterday. That's my bad. 
missing out on maximum fruit efficiency. Now we're only going to get 27 fruits from these spring trees instead of 28. Rip. There can only be one. There can only be one lucky lunch sold at the saloon. Is it is it a rare food? I mean, lucky lunch it's uh it's, it is pretty it is pretty powerful. It is pretty potent stuff. I wouldn't be surprised. We also do still have a chance of getting the getting a lucky lunch now from the garbage outside the saloon because you can always get the dish of the day there. If we get a little lucky, only one star shard. I get you. I get you. My mind is like all over the place. Is all the neurons are firing a mile a minute with the with the drop of this lucky lunch. Welcome on in, Tenchi clone. We are currently about to do a little debris day, clearing of the uh, clearing of the valley. Then we'll buy some lucky lunch from the saloon. Then we will wait for a good luck day to go skull caverning. That's basically what we're at right now. Gonna go have lunch at the saloon. <laughs> Makes it just sound like a normal day. Just a normal day in Stardew Valley. We're just gonna go drop in for lunch at the saloon and then and then use that lunch to manifest destiny for us in the future. They had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Alright, let me go clean up Cinder Sap Forest first, then we'll make our way up to the farm. And by the time that's all done, we'll head out to the saloon and Bob's your uncle. Is being friends with villagers also tasks you can only do when you get it? That is uh, correct, yeah. In fact, our very first task was to befriend the dwarf. And th that has been done. Get some homies in chat, please. Homie for the dwarf. Never forget our first true friend in this, in this cruel, cruel world. The dwarf stands by us forever. I'll never I'll never look at the word homie the same way again after after the experience I've had with the dwarf. Homie isn't even from this challenge, that's from the Giftathon, but it's uh it's burned into my mind forever. In association with the dwarf especially. We should visit her. We do visit her every every so often. I'll definitely I'll definitely go visit them on their birthday. But it's, uh, I mean, I, I should, I basically do, I basically do go pay a quick little visit every single day I go geode farming, just as a little, a little palate cleanser, I guess, between geode farming sessions before I like go and go down for like 45 minutes to an hour in the mines. I just go and say, hey there, my little homie friend, how are you doing? Forgot her pronouns, that's all good. For most, most of my life, I've considered the dwarf uh, a he until I was instructed otherwise, so I, I'm trying to check myself as well. Can't even get into the secret woods, I know. The stones are just uh, lined up in such a terrible pattern there right now. If push comes to shove, I'll just, like, mine a couple stones to get into the secret woods, but I can probably use... Uh, Probably use a stair a chair to get past that anyway. Hey there, Trenton. You didn't know the dwarf's pronouns? It they're they're hard to come by. They're hard to come by. I was I was only made aware of uh, of her pronouns via Wellwick at the Stardew Valley Fair because like when you get your fortune told at the fair. Wellwick will, like, tell you something about, like, whoever you have the, the most hearts with. And the, there'll be, like, a little fortune with that. And because we only had hearts with the dwarf, we learned her pronouns through that. But I believe in the code, uh, she's also referred to as they. 
or, or or something else like that. There there's some moment in like in, in like the code where the dwarf is referred to as the, as they, I believe. So that's where the she they pronouns come from. I'm doing quite well, Trent. Thank you for asking. Happy to be be here with uh, with all my buds, getting ready to finish off the iridium for the for the desert obelisk here. I have full confidence we're gonna get, we're gonna finish off no matter how it goes, no matter how we have to get there. We're gonna get to the twenty iridium bars today. Whether we get to the million dollars, I mean that's 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 another that's a tall order. <laughs> but we will certainly next week be rolling our third goal. Crazy to think that we're almost like 90 hours into this challenge and we're only three goals deep. Only well, technically only we're one goal deep and almost the second goal. Hopefully we'll be three goals deep and then maybe four and five and maybe maybe we'll just uh keep on rolling like that. That would be nice, but I don't want to look too far into the future. Aim low and avoid disappointment, right? Not necessarily a, a life motto I would I would strive to live by, but in certain contexts, it does hold a nugget of truth. Dwarf uses she, her pronouns, plus the dwarf has those little things sticking up her hood. Dwarf is a cat girl. <laughs> Ergo. Oh my gosh, the dwarf is a cat girl. Might be leaping to conclusions slightly, but... I'm kind of here for it, too. She pulls back her hood, and she's just... <laughs> and you see the whiskers unfold from within the hood. Could you imagine? I mean, there's nothing nothing wrong with that. Nothing against it. Dwarves can be... They don't, they don't necessarily have to be the, the traditional fantasy stereotypes of dwarves that we've all come to, to know and accept. Why can't a dwarf be a cat? All right, I think debris is pretty well under control. Oh, do you guys see that? Do you guys see? Hmm. I'm looking for some seaweed today. Do you see the seaweed? Right there. Good eyes. Wow, that it blends in so insanely well. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that seaweed. That sneaky seaweed. Some some of the best hidden forage I've probably ever seen in this entire game. No word of a lie. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, I think that's that's a good enough debris day for me. There we go. Put don't put all that away. Um, I will also put the axe away now. Let's go buy ourselves a lucky lunch, shall we? A lucky lunch or two. I almost. I'm not gonna lie to you. I almost did forget. And then I was like, is there anything... I was going over my, my mental checklist. I'm like, is there anything I'm forgetting to do today? I look at my inventory, see that it's all slated for Skull Cavern, and I'm like, oh yeah! Like, the most important thing in the entire in the entire day right now is to get this lucky lunch. So let's go take care of that. Your cat got kittens two days ago? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that. Three lucky lunches! Isn't That's max lucky lunches, right? That's like the most you can get here. I think it's like one to three of the dish of the day. Triple lucky lunches, a special little meal. It sounds so vaguely threatening. That plus three luck is gonna come in clutch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> plus nine luck if we just gorge on all of them. Imagine if that's how it works. Pull little tears of the kingdom and, and fuse them together into like a into a lucky lunch lunch. All right, and that's the last of our smelted iridium as well. Uh, what happens to all my stuff here? Hold on a second. 
Coffee. Warp Totem. All right. I will, you know what, I'll also put the Lucky Lunches in here. Keep one Lucky Lunch, good to go. And I think this is our, our Skull Cavern setup, right? You've seen 13 dishes before? Ain't no way. I, I don't believe it. <laughs> 13, 13 Lucky Lunches or just 13 dishes of the day? Because if, if it's 13 is like the max, then I'm getting ripped off, dude. If I could suggest another Stardew YouTuber, uh, who would I suggest? Basically all of them. Everyone in the Stardew YouTuber community is is extremely good. Some of my personal favorites. Uh, Wickety, Charlie Barley, Salmons, The Algorithm, Wallagug, Shawnee Dew, uh, Therm, uh, who else you got? Blade, obviously. Um... I know I'm forgetting people. There's so many awesome people, it's like hard to even like think of it. Leap a lot, of course. Leap a lot. <laughs> you re you really can't go wrong with any of them, to be honest with to be honest with you. Even the ones that I'm not that familiar with, like you know, Lee Chaton, a twenty something loser, um, Joe T G, Habu. I like I don't watch them all that frequently. Struggle lugs I've heard of. I don't really know, but I trust them. Gamergar, yep. I mean, you can you can lump me in there if you want, but I feel like you know, <laughs> I can't I can't speak to that myself. Yeah, but we got uh, we got we got lots of lots of fun friends out there. So, no matter where you land in the starter community, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Let's put it that way. All right, let's check our daily luck. Come on, star drop. That is very much not a star drop. It's okay. All right, we go check our mushrooms, we go check our garbage, and then we check again. Tomorrow's the flower dance as well. I don't think we need to go. My homie is not going to be there, so I'm not going to be able to dance with her. Ergo, I don't want to go. I don't want to be there. 13 rhubarb pies. I don't really know the full mechanics of the... Uh, of the dish of the day, to be honest with you. Like, I thought I thought it was 1 to 3 that you could get for the dish of the day, but you're telling me you got 13? Maybe there's more stuff going on there than I realized. Did we get the recipe and the rare crow from the flower dance? I think we got the rare crow. I don't think we got the recipe yet, though. So, I mean, that that's probably a good thing to pick up. Honestly, especially now that we have the disposable income for it. It's honest. I mean, like, it's... Yeah, it's hard, it's, it's hard for me to make a good reason not to do that, so we probably should go do that. Because if our next goal is, like, you know, craft a tub of flowers, then we probably want to have that ready to go and not have to go through a full year just to get the recipe again. 14 max. Why am I always getting, like like two or three then if you can get, if you can get 14 dishes of the day on the same day and like what the heck am i doing rasmodius stop taking up all the real estate on this board i know you you really want these freaking ectoplasms and prismatic jellies why are you so obsessed with like goo you weirdo leave some room on the board for other people come on now The other thing you follow is challenge runners from FromSoft titles. That's like, uh, I watched a video from from one of them the other day, like Gamers Weekend, I think. I watched uh, like a, a like Dark Souls, but you can't walk or something like that. And uh, there's there's a bunch of other ones right now. I haven't, I haven't watched a lot of stuff from them it, as far as like FromSoft, like Dark Souls, Elden Ring challenge runs in a long time. But I do like the vibes of those videos. Those are great games for challenge runs for sure. Wizard is secretly a slime. I believe it. Stardew is just slowly transmogrifying into into an anime. You got cat girls and and slime boys. I don't know how prevalent slime people are in in animes, but it just felt like a thing that it just feels like it just feels right for some reason. 
I think I got the recipe, but not the not the scarecrow. Let me see. I'm looking around my house. We got the dwarf rare crow, we got the tiki rare crow, and we got the, the little raccoon rare crow. Do I have the recipe for the tub of flowers? I it does not appear so, so maybe I don't have either of them. So it's it's a good idea to go to the flower dance regardless of anything here. And it's a bad luck day anyway, so might as well take care of that. Got hooked on Iron Pineapple. Oh, Iron Pineapple! That, he is so good. Oh my gosh. Not only for just, like, his, like, Dark Souls or, like, Elden Ring challenge runs and stuff, which are good, don't get me wrong, but for his, uh, like, Steam Dumpster Diving series where he, like, looks at, at uh, like, different Souls-like games on Steam and, like, reviews them in a very humorous way. He's got me sitting there being like, That is humorous, Iron Pineapple. You are a funny individual. Highly recommend Iron Pineapple. His experience with uh, with Juice World from one of those videos, it lives rent-free in my brain. Is it fruit day? It would have been a fruit day if it, if I I did miss a fruit day, so we're like one behind, so tomorrow will be a fruit day. Good catch though. We'll do it let's do a, a reverse trash run today, that way we're nice and close to the Cinder Sap Forest when the dance starts. That time I got reincarnated as a slime is an anime. There's like a lot of animes out there that are like named like that. They're just named very pragmatically. Like I remember looking at a list of them one time and just like the like animes with like the longest names and I'm not going to repeat them because like a lot of them are not PG-13 friendly. And I can't remember most of the other ones, to be honest with you. But it's like, uh... <laughs> but it, it, it reminds me of, like, how creepypastas are named a lot of the time. Like, have you ever seen those, like, creepypasta... Like, those channels on YouTube where they, like, read creepypastas? And all the videos are titled something like, uh... My neighbor turned into a, a demon in front of me. And now I don't, and now I fear for my life. And then that's like the title of the story. I'm like, that's not a title of a story. That's just, that's a, that's a synopsis. That's like a tagline. No creepypastas have like good story titles is what I've learned. Anyway, we're going to the flower dance. If I were to rate how hard the sturgeon is to catch, how much, how, how would I? I would say it's probably like 55 out of 120. Nah, it's probably higher than that. It's probably like 75 out of 120. Either way. Let's go ahead and buy Tub of Flowers recipe now that we got the income for it. Buy the Rare Crow as well, just to be on the safe side. And that's all, basically all she wrote. Alright. You all enjoy your Vienna sausages or whatever the heck these are. That Jello mold is moving on its own. That can't be good. I don't think it's that windy of a day. Let's go ahead and just watch the dance in... In to the dulcet tones of Mother 3. Probably a better song for, for this than, uh... I mean, no matter what song you put this to, I don't know if it's gonna go that well, but... You hate how literal isekai titles are? <laughs> it's just, it just strikes me as, like, so lazy when things are titled like that. It's like, you put all this work into crafting, like, a world and a story and, like all this stuff, and then you can't even be bothered to think of, like, a good title that encapsulates it and, like, catches your attention in just a few good short words. But what are you doing? You're doing, like, 98% of the work, and then, and like, it's like, it's like you're writing a, your, like, final essay, your dissertation, your college thesis, and then the title of it. I mean, the titles of theses are actually kind of literal, so maybe this is not, like, a great example. But, like, what if you just titled it, like, My College Thesis? Or my, my final thesis or something. Be like, you're getting an F <laughs> for the title alone. All right. Lovely Rare Crow Lady, you can go over here somewhere. I don't know exactly where yet. You can be the guardian of the wine. Guardian of the, uh, of the, of the keg right there. Someone needs to keep an eye on it to make sure no debris sneaks in through the walls and destroys it. And we're off to bed. Pickle jar rag, let's go. Could that be the blessing that we need to receive a, a good luck day? 
Let's check. Let's check. Not quite. It would be too good of a day to be PJR and, uh... And a great luck day, so... They gotta balance it out somehow, I guess. Also, don't forget to put the cherry wine on. I didn't start new wine. I'm one, one step ahead of you. We were on the same wavelength there, though, Cass. <laughs> Price of Perfection is such a great title. I'm a sucker for alliteration when it comes to titles. Maybe too much so. Like, I, I was I was struggling for a long time to think of, like, a catchy title for, like, the Randomizer series, like, uh, that, that had, like, alliteration going for it. I still might change it, I don't know. Like, right now it's just, like, Randomized Perfection, which is good enough. It's it's a literal title, sure, but it, it encapsulates it well. And it's not like the title of the series is, like, we're, we're doing Stardew Valley Perfection one task at a time, but it's completely random. Like, that's the conceit of the challenge, that's not the title. Piecemeal Perfection. Piecemeal Perfection was the closest I got, but it's... I don't think it's, uh... I don't think it's catchy enough. And I don't... Well, I think it's I think it's catchy enough, but I don't think it, uh... Captures the essence of the challenge well enough. Especially because a lot of people probably don't even know what piecemeal means, but... How do I get so much money? This is primarily from, uh... Farming Winter Forge on the beach and selling it directly to Pierre. That is the bulk of where that money came from. It's not evocative enough? Yeah, exactly. I did I did one day that I went to I went over to Chat GPT and I was like, hey, here's the series I'm doing for Stardew Valley. Can you come up with like some like clever titles? Just to see if it would like have any like inspired ideas or if it could give me some inspiration. And I'll tell you, ChatGPT is not great at naming things. It was it was coming up with stuff like, uh, like, sure, here's a great name for it. How about a random Stardew Valley tale? And I'm like, huh? <laughs> or it was like Stardew Valley Random Perfection Edition, and I'm like, we're getting closer, we're getting somewhere there, but like, come on now. And I, I tried to refine it a little bit. I tried to give it feedback and be like, I want this and this and this, but it was just not getting anywhere close. <laughs> As a non-English speaker, what does piecemeal mean? Piecemeal basically means like a single piece at a time. So like you separate things out into like into like individual pieces and like focus on those pieces like in isolation more or less. It's not exactly what it means, I guess. There is a little bit, little more nuance to it, but that's basically the gist of it. I asked ChatGPT for a story about Haley. We did do a story about uh, about Chloe and Haley through ChatGPT one time. I think I still have it. Patchwork perfection. The patchwork perfection is pretty good. <laughs> patchwork perfection. I might have to steal that. I don't know. I have to mull that one over for my for, for a bit. Perfect roulette. Price of perfection, pieces of perfection, and then another P of perfection. You got you guys got some good ideas. A random Stardew Valley tale sounds like something you'd find in the depths of AO3. It's been unfinished since 2017. Literally true. Literally so true. Yo, our jades aligned. Our, the Crystallarium Jades have finally synchronized. It's happened. Yeah, no, a random Stardew Valley tale. It's definitely one of those stories that, like, the author wrote, like, uh, the first chapter of the story. It's, like, 517 words. And, uh, it ends on a little cliffhanger. And in the author's note at the bottom, it's like, So excited to be, keep, to be writing this story. I've had this idea in my head for so long. Can't wait to update on more. And then the, the, they never updated it again. Author's been offline since since literally 2017. Strange bun, no thank you. Don't need any more void mayonnaise in my life. 
The luck is is not strong. Ever since we got the, the lucky lunches here, they have not given us a single lucky day. It's all been either bats or skulls. If this were Halloween, I'd be I'd be all for that, but it is not Halloween. It is not the best holiday. You need to crowdsource names. Yeah, I just I I don't know. I, I feel like 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 per per perfection randomizer or randomized perfection. I need it's like it's it's fine. It's good enough. It gets the it gets the idea across more than anything else. But it's uh like I do miss that alliteration. Patchwork perfection makes makes a lot of sense. I don't know. It's something I'll toy around with. Not for too much longer, though, probably, because, I mean, I have to eventually, I have to release the, the first episode of the, like, edited version of this pretty soon. I've been working on it long enough. I've, it's, I've been keeping it in the, uh, in the fryer for too long. It's gonna be burnt. I'm trying to, to be better about, like, editing more efficiently, because I, I very much am perfectionist, and I need to, like, like, the edited versions of like uh, of like the randomizer here are meant to be lightly edited, but then I start having ideas and I start trying to like expand upon things and it just blows way out of proportion. I just need to take a step back and just do some like basic editing, throw in a few little flourishes here and there, and and get the product actually out the door instead of like focusing on all the nitty gritty and trying to get it exactly to the vision that work that's in my head. As is often said, perfection is the enemy of good. Swap star shards. Maybe I'm carrying the wrong one. There's no shot. There's no shot I would have made that mistake. And even if I wanted to, um, I'm pretty sure. Wait, do I have any any extra star shards? I don't. I think this is the last star shard. Are we talking about the price of perfection? That's another one. I mean, I got a lot of videos, ID and stuff in the burner that I got to be working on. And it's just, uh, <laughs> that's another part that's overwhelming. But uh, I think price of perfection, I do want to turn into like an episodic thing instead of just like a full video summary. Um, I think that would be easier for me and probably easier to digest and make sense of the challenge overall. But I think it's just a win-win on all fronts, but we'll see how it goes. Either way, for right now, I'm just having fun playing the game and enjoying this experience with all of you. For now, for now, that's good enough for me. A little pumpkin soup, plus two luck. We gotta invest in that. It's another bad luck day. <laughs> oh my gosh! How long before I just break and decide, like, yeah, no, maybe a neutral luck day is good enough? No, I would never get there. I don't think. Either way, we're gonna wait for Gus to open so we can get that pumpkin soup. More good soup, please. Take my time. Thank you. I appreciate that. But that said, I've been taking I've been taking my time for far too long, probably. <laughs> like I like I said, I do I do enjoy the process of editing, but lately I've been with think with certain things going on in like my personal life and uh, experiences I've had in like the past couple months. It's hard to it's hard to really talk about on stream. It's, it gets into like some heavy like personal territory. Um, we'll wait till tomorrow for the fruit trees. But like when I open up my editor, it's like it's a lot. <laughs> I don't know how to more to how to describe it more than that. I'm you know I'm talking to I'm talking to like professionals like therapists and stuff and and seeking out help that way. So, but. Uh, there is something tied to the, the actual process of editing that is making it harder than it ought to be. Even though I do enjoy it. Just do randomizer one goal per video. Some of them will be hours long, then some less than a minute. <laughs> that could be a fun way to do it, but I think the best way to do it is like uh, is to normalize the length of the videos to like 20 to 30 minutes, maybe. Maybe even like 15 to 30 minutes. I don't know. It depends on how how things get edited together. And then some of them will be like all I, I probably want to do like at least one goal per episode. So like I might have to ed edit some things down. 
But then if I get, like, a string of really easy goals, then I wouldn't make, like, one episode for each of those goals. That just seems superfluous at that point. I could hire an editor to sp split the work at least. Yeah, that's also true, but, like, I don't have the... <laughs> to, I don't have the the income right now to support hiring an edit editor, really, so I'm, 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 I'm in it. And plus, like, I mean, that might be an excuse more than anything, but it's also, I don't know. It's all stuff for me to figure out. You guys don't worry about that. Let's just, we'll just, uh, I appreciate you looking out for me, and I appreciate you, uh, wanting to help me out and give me good ideas, such as hiring an ed editor, but it's stuff I need to figure out on my own. A delayed video is eventually good. A rushed video is forever de detrimental to your mental health. I like the variation on the on the Miyamoto quote there. Also, I almost forgot that we got pumpkin soup to buy today. So we will go wait at the we'll, we'll go wait at the saloon for that. Actually, you know what? Why don't I take why don't since I'm going to be going out to the saloon anyway, or I have to wait, why not be a little productive here and bring some stuff to sell? Like I can sell all these mushrooms that I've been hoarding. I'm not really saving these for anything in particular, so might as well just go and sell them directly to Pierre and get some extra money out of it. What's the current sub goal? We are looking for our last three Iridium bars. Ideally, we'll get them from Skull Cavern Treasure Rooms in one drop. That would be ideal. Price of Perfection will, me will be made into probably a few little edited videos. I think there's so much that goes on in that challenge that trying to get it all in one video it would be like a monumentally long video. But I think trying to separate it into its like distinct arcs, it makes a bit more sense in my head. Not bad. Got 15,000 in common mushrooms right there just, just sitting, but I still contend that they're better off as food than they are as, uh, as money. Sure, someone could do could do it for free. I would I would feel terrible asking anyone to like edit for free just because like they're they're a fan and they want to like help out. That's not the <laughs> that's not the the way I want to do things. If I'm gonna hire an editor, they're I'm they're gonna be paid. They're gonna be paid commensurate with the with the work that they do and the time that they put in for sure. That's just that's just a non negotiable thing for me. Um, I can sell. Well, I'll wait until I have all the apricots this season to sell the apricots probably. Anything else I got? I want to sell. I guess I can sell this one lone winter root. Well, actually, maybe. Ne I mean, what if our next goal is ship a winter root? You never know, right? Anything else worth selling here? I don't think so. So I guess we just go wait for the saloon to open. No one that has edited videos before would edit for free. That's also very true. Yeah, if you if you've done. Uh, enough video editing in like a professional capacity especially like there's there's so much work that goes into it it's like there's there's no way you could even justify doing it for free and trust me I've, I've done my fair share of editing I know that I would not do it for free <laughs> that's that's for darn sure Editors are much like lurkers in a stream. You don't always no you don't always notice their presence, but the final product, the the actual content, is much worse without them. Speaking of which, can I get some sevens for my lurkers? Any lurkers in chat today? The lifeblood of the stream. Hope you're having a good day, doing whatever you're doing, playing a video game of your own. Maybe you are doing chores, maybe you're doing homework, maybe you're just vibing out, maybe you're exercising, maybe you are um, watching multiple streams all at the same time. Catherine, Monster Muckle, Sarah with the 3.5, Cast the First, Brandy Mills, let's start today with the 7, Zippora, Gondola, off on with the 12 months, Lurk, a lurker, but sev but full year of support you had me you got me so bamboozled here thank you so much for the support i greatly appreciate it at the neutron level no less thank you so much uh flowers all around coffee bean bunny bucket claw tooth arabella claire's at work fair enough <laughs> it's, it's kind of default lurking status i suppose you got to be lurking if you're at work 
Jessica, Shiny Lampent, Susan Edgecomb, Keegs, Shippo704, trying to solve a visual Rubik's Cube puzzle. Interesting. I got a Rubik's Cube I'm staring at right now. It's on my desk. Uh, Frog's Legs, commented a few times with vibing in Stardew Valley. Fair enough. Patronum Twalk, Kiki Deaky, Tenchi Clone playing Animal Crossing, Jasmine Displays, Alex with a 6.5. That's a new one. Trying to lurk and do creative writing, but keep getting distracted by the stream. Don't worry. I mean, feel free to, to mute or or otherwise if you need to really focus on that. I totally understand. Amanda and Alice. Thank you all. Thank you to all the lurkers and the super lurkers. These pumpkin soups are for you. Three more pumpkin soups. We've got a lot of luck, bo luck boosting food in reserve now. Hopefully we actually get a chance to use it in the near future here if they give us a, a decent luck day. <laughs> the puzzle is that the puzzle is unsolvable and only visible from one angle. You can see three sides and you need to figure out how many pieces are impossible. That sounds like a headache on top. Like, oh my god. Like, if I was looking at it, I would probably have a better idea. But just the way you described it there, I was like, oh my god, that sounds like... I, I I wouldn't even know where to start with something like that. Sounds like fun though. I'm all I'm all for a difficult puzzle like that. All caught up with the stream. Welcome on in Cobalt. You're here just in time for a little Mad Moon, and then uh, hopefully Skull Cavern today. We can also trade more jades for staircases today if we end up going to going to the desert. It's a neutral luck day. It's not good enough. It's simply not good enough. It needs to be at least gold pyramid. Gold pyramid or bust. Blaze the ams, no thank you. I will trade my new my newfound jade supply for more staircases. Have them ready to go, and then we will have even better luck when we actually do get to go to Skull Cavern here. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. I was going to try and get that wood, but I don't have my axe on me. Rip. Queen of Sauce. I appreciate it, uh, Villanelle, but we are actually, we're in year three now, and we made sure to check Queen of Sauce every single day for the first two, or not every single day, but every single week for the first two years. So we got all the recipes from Queen of Sauce. Queen of Sauce is a relic of the past. It feels weird not to be checking it, but but we are beyond the point where we need to. Amazingly enough. Thanks for looking out, though. I appreciate it. You can go for some yams right now, though. I can go for some sweet potato fries. Some sweet potato fries with a little bit of truffle salt. Ooh. Sounds so fancy. It's amazing how fancy, like, fries can get, honestly. Like, for most of my life, I just thought, you know, like, fr like fries are fries, basically. Some taste, like, a little better than others, but there's, like, no, like... Like, you're never gonna have gourmet fries, but turns out, you can definitely have gourmet fries. Like, holy moly. I've tried some, some gourmet fries in my time, and... It's, it's indescribable, the difference between, like, gourmet fries and, like, fast food fries. They both have their place, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't say that, like, McDonald's should start serving their fries with, like, truffle salt and, and all the fixins and stuff. Number one, I wouldn't trust it in a fast food setting. <laughs> Number two, it's, uh, just not necessary. McDonald's fries, you know, they're, they, they fit a niche and they fit it well. But every so often, those gourmet fries. Mm. Not to be controversial, but sweet potato fries are overrated. Sarah? You might be right. Honestly, I really do love sweet potato fries myself. Like, they're, they're my favorite variety of fries. I would probably agree that they're overrated, though. I think they're really good. But I don't think they deserve quite the hype that they get. They're not like Ambrosia. They're like they're 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 just they're fries. They're fries at the end of the day. 
They're just the best variety of fries. Welcome on in, Laura DeVee. They haven't missed too much. We've gotten most of our iridium from the 500 magma geodes that we opened at the start of the stream. That's been the main thing, and now we're just trying to get uh, the last that we need from Skull Cavern here. A couple pieces are nice, but you never want a whole basket or whatever. Too sweet. That's that's where you and I diverge. We diverge in a sweet potato wood. You take the you take the dry road, and I'll take the sweet road. Give me all the sweet potato fries. I just can't get enough. Beer battered fries are your favorite. I've never heard of beer battered fries, to be honest with you. I know beer battered, like, like chips, or like, no, not chips, but fish, but. Beer battered fish and chips. Like, the fish is beer battered, sure, but the, but the chips? Mm. Also, fries, just like, just like your normal, everyday garden variety home cooked fries with vinegar on them vinegar with fries it's not for everybody i'm gonna tell you right now you have to have a certain kind of palate to enjoy vinegar on fries but if you do have that palate as i do i enjoy like all the like like sour tangy stuff that like vinegar's got going on it's a beautiful match made in heaven oh speaking of a match made in heaven Skip the gold pyramid. Give me that star drop luck on the first day of summer. Summer's our season. I've always said that. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Finally. It's been it's been a long time coming here. Please. Please. We got the we, the maximum poss possible luck we can do right now unless we had like ginger ale, I guess. <laughs> Eat the lucky lunch. Yes, please. Warp to the desert, and let's get this show on the freaking road. Skull Caverns cometh. Behold. Behold. Have a good one, by the way, Mushi Ginko. All right. Hold on, though. We do need this. How many resets for Iridium bars? We're not stopping until we get Iridium bars. If we get a Crystallarium, we're going to reset it. If we get an, an Auto Grabber, we're resetting it. We're going all in on Iridium right now. How many resets for Iridium bars? Add a couple options here. Uh, I mean, you got you to gotta start with zero. Zero resets. And then we'll do um, one to... We'll do one to five. If we're looking specifically for Iridium, we got to broaden our ranges here. One to five... 6 to 10. 11 plus. The odds for an Iridium bar in a Skull Cavern treasure room are 1 in 26. You know what? We'll... Actually, we'll keep, we'll keep the standard reset... Re pardon me, the standard reset ranges. 1 to 3. 4 to 6. And 7 plus. Maybe, maybe it's ambitious, but I feel like we don't need to expand on it. We'll use all the staircases on each run if we need to. Yeah, absolutely. Once we hit three iridium bars, then then we uh, we lock that in. Or even if we just hit two, I guess. I mean, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hopefully, we just get we just get three on the first go. All right, how many resets for iridium bars? Get your ticket now. Zero reset, gang, because it's happening. You can't, you can't doubt the power of a lucky lunch plus star drop luck plus 64 staircases. The most staircases we've ever had. Let's make this happen. I'm going to be very careful here to not waste any staircases. Also grab these while, while I'm going. A little residual income is never a bad thing. Ooh, little immunity band. I like the purple. Purple goes nice. Take that. This area is overrun by monsters. Doesn't bother me. They, they can just vibe out for all I care. All right, we are officially on treasure room watch now. Now that we're past floor 10 here. Treasure rooms are now on deck, available. Let's see how this goes. Shouldn't be too long in theory before we get our first treasure room. 
We don't quite have the maximum possible luck we could have going on. If we had, like, you know, ginger ale plus some lucky rings and stuff, then we would be in a, in a better spot. But uh, as far as, like, what's available to us, the resources that are realistically available right now, I think we're doing all right. Optimism. Optimism all the way. There's no room for pessimism around these parts. Leave the pessimism at the door with those 500 magma geodes. And I'll see you in Iridium Town. That said, these, uh, these treasure floors are being a bit stingy right off the bat. That's okay. It's alright. We'll make it work in the end. I also... My coffee did not last very long. I'm realizing that I probably should have brought triple shot now. I, I guess I can swap out triple shot um, on the next run if I need to. If there's going to be a next run, which there, there ought not to be. But if there is, we can do that. Come on now. You're really gonna make me look like a fool? Okay, let's... <laughs> please. Please just, you know, let's rip off the band-aid. Let's get this done nice and quick. That's a rain totem. Be nice if we were looking for some truffle oil. Excuse me, what? <laughs> I just curb stomped the chest. What just happened there? <laughs> well, oh, I don't know my own strength. Jeez Louise. All right, then. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> the chest just got yeeted. Holy moly. That's normal? I've never done that before. I swear I've never done that before. Chest just gave up on life? Can you just, like, do that? Yeah, get out of here, dummy. <laughs> oh my gosh. What if I could take those chests home to actually, like, use as, as real chests? That would be a nice little life hack. She was really mad she didn't get the iridium bars. Just the ult just destroying every chest in her path. In the pursuit of all this iridium. Alright. No luck on our first run here unless we... Oh, we do have a freebie. Look at that. Could you imagine if we had actually got to... <laughs> Got a treasure room out of that freebie at the last moment there. All right. One reset in. Sorry to the zero reset believers. I did my best, I promise, but your best can only take you so far. Let's go ahead and swap this for triple shot. Slurp it on up. Nom the lucky lunch. Very delicious uh, breakfast. Yum. Sea cucumber, my favorite. And off we go. There was Iridium right there, just mine it. Forehead. Why don't you just mine it? If you want to come along and mine that Iridium for me, be my guest. But Beatrix doesn't have time to time to wait around for your, your silly games. So you better be here at Amazon delivery speeds. Or preferably faster. This area's overrun with monsters, by the way. All right, come on. Give me, give me a nice early treasure room. Early treasure rooms always just feel better than later treasure rooms. I can't, I can't pinpoint it. I mean, it feels like you know less of a waste of staircases if we just get a nice early one in like the first, first ten possible floors. Oh, perfect. Okay, thank you. Ask and ye shall receive some cactus seeds. Get some cactuses in chat, please. Cactus emojis. A little Argon Cactus if you got it. Oh, I saw the freebie there too late. That's my bad. I will always I will always and forever respect the Cactus Seeds. But they're not what we, re not what we need right now. Truly useless. I would, never, I would never call the Cactus truly useless. But in terms of where we are right now in our life, it's pretty close. Little hardwood, if you don't mind. Just, just a little hardwood, please. Ooh, or some nice crystal shoes. 
I will toss this lone piece of coal for a few crystal shoes. Matches our drip quite nicely, although I should probably leave these on for defensive purposes. Actually, you know what? It's not that, not that much of a difference, honestly. And I just like how they look better. Probably not going to get to keep them. You might as well appreciate them while they're around, right? The power of friendship. <laughs> By the power of friendship. I mean, it's how I solved my first challenge in Stardew Valley history, so. It would not be without precedent, that's for sure. Uh, let me eat my mushrooms, thank you. Magma geodes are nice, too. Every, every magma geode is nice, yeah. Every magma geode that I don't have to farm myself is a, is a blessing. Hopefully we get to keep them, but well, only time will tell here. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I if I if I died in Skull Cavern, doing this staircase method, I, that's it's time for me to turn in my Stardew Valley card and just never play this game again. I'll become like a Roblox streamer or something instead. If I die staircasing through Skull Cavern, it's, it's there's, there's just no excuse. Five pumpkin soups. That is that is very nice. That is that is a very nice little haul if we get to if we get to hold on to it. With twelve staircases remaining, I'm not sure how how good I feel about that though. Ooh, hardwood. Oh my gosh, the stuff that we're gonna that we're gonna have to turn down if we don't get some iridium in the next few staircases here, please. Not Roblox. I thought people liked Roblox. I've never played it myself, but like it's it's a it's a juggernaut of a game, isn't it? Is Ro Roblox is like a game engine more than it is a game. It's like a platform. I, I really don't know like hard barely anything about Roblox. Any chance of a freebie? Just just a little morsel of a freebie. All right, I know when I'm not wanted. Thanks. Jeez Louise. Alright, we are on two resets now. Most of chat believes that it'll take at least four to six resets in order for us to get the Iridium. We'll see. We're on two. We're on two. We got a lot more a lot more room to grow here. Let's go. That did hurt. I mean, I, I'm learning not to get too attached to any of these runs. The amount of resets I've had to do in this challenge so far just tells me to never get attached to any specific day because you never know when it's going to be ripped away from you. And in this in this scenario, that's truer than ever. This feels like Splatoon music. I know I know in my heart it's Mother Three music, but it feels like Splatoon music. Get some crates, get some crystals. Not of the blue variety. Need a reset counter? Honestly. <laughs> I should have set that up beforehand, but... I didn't know what I was going to be getting myself into today. I, on I honestly thought that the 500 magma geodes was probably going to be enough and that I wouldn't need to even worry about this, but... Shows what I know. I'm kind of glad that it, that the that the that the geodes weren't enough because I do enjoy the skull cavern grinds like this. There's just something magical about getting uh, about getting rewards from treasure rooms like that. Like geodes are like little mini loot boxes, but the true loot boxes of this game it's it's got to be the treasure rooms in Skull Cavern. I need an overall reset counter for, like, the entire challenge. Yeah. I'm not sure I want to know, though. I'm, 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 a, I'm a little afraid to find out now. Grant, I'll, I'll tell you this much for sure. It's definitely more than the price of perfection. Price of perfection, we reset the entire... We reset the day seven times throughout the entirety of that challenge. 
A little dark cowboy hat. I will take that for dapper goodness. Swap it out for the mouse ears for right now. Just gotta enjoy the quantum drip while we got it. Yeehaw. <laughs> Pushes the happy button with your brain. That's a great way to put it. It's a great great little analogy for, for the dopamine rewards that we're receiving. Don't worry about that guy. It's, it's gonna be fine. He did not hit me there. I would I would contest that one in court. As you can see, your honor, our hitboxes did not overlap whatsoever. Purple slime egg? Ooh, there's there's a time where where this would have been good enough for me to to stop, but. This is not that time anymore. Purple slime egg is decent money though, if we can get if we can get out with it. There is a path to iridium with the purple slime egg. If we were to like build a slime hutch, start raising purple slimes, then we can then we could kill the purple slimes for iridium. But like, there's just, there's just no point in doing that right now. Especially we can get get we're so close to being done with the iridium. Maybe in the future that'll be something we'll we'll invest in, depending on how much more iridium we need for for other goals. But uh, not in the cards right now. Slime much costs iridium. It costs one iridium bar. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so it's it's not the end of the world if we if we were to invest in that. I'm pretty sure it's literally like one iridium bar. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I don't think so. Next challenge, 10 more bars. It could be. It could be just a... Uh... God, could you imagine if our goal after crafting, after building a desert obelisk was like build a... <laughs> build, a build an island obelisk or build... Anything? Oh my gosh! Please, just just give me just give me some sort of a break. You can still give me a hard challenge. Just don't make it another one of these. What? The final staircase? Could it be the blessed staircase of our dreams? Oh my god! It really could be. What? <laughs> no shot. Two iridium bars. I mean, that's a heartbreaker right there. That's a bit of a heartbreaker. Because that puts us up to 19 Iridium Bars. Oh my... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, first things first. Let's check what's next. Alright, no... Nothing nothing doing here by the looks of it. Alright. Please don't reset. It's only two. Take it anyway. We can open these Omni Geodes and the Magma Geode. We got six chances at more Iridium Ore here. How much... How much... On, just use this. How much um, Iridium Ore do we have in reserve? How much Iridium Ore do we have at this exact moment in time? We have three Iridium Ore. We need... We literally need two Iridium Ore to be done. I'm gonna go open these six geodes and just and just pray. And if not, I think even still we probably cash this in. I think I think we take two iridium bars. That did take literally all of our staircases. <laughs> I can't believe it was the final staircase that did that. That's kind of wild. Come on, Clint. Be good to me. Be good to me. This is gonna be. You know what? I should probably sort out my inventory first here. Well, I can sell some stuff to Clint. Just sell, sell the fire quartz, even sell the coal, honestly, it's fine. Don't sell the iridium bars. It's fine, we'll, we'll, we'll juggle this if we have to. Show me something good, please. Please. Just, just put an end to this. Just, just end it, Clint. You have the power. Come on, Clint, please. Sell the orpiment. Just, just sell it all. Sell it all. All that you can afford to sell. Two geodes. Alright. Here's, here's the thing. I mean... 
We should just farm the geodes, huh? We should just farm those geodes. Keep it. Grab a few magma geodes tomorrow if necessary. That, that would have been such a clutch way to finish it out. Yeah, we really should just grind up the geodes. I think that's the I think that's the smart play. Keep keep the iridium bar. Oh, they really they really had to do it like that, huh? Two iridium bars, two iridium bars, as opposed to the three we could have gotten. We are literally two iridium ore short of where we need to be. That is a sad, sad tale. But you know what? It's bittersweet. I mean, obviously, it's two. We're two iridium bars richer now than we were a moment ago, but. We have a little bit more work ahead of us. I can still reset and try for more bars. I mean, that's that's the other option, is to reset and just try for that three bar drop. But we're so close. Hope, I, I don't know how many more geodes we're going to need realistically, but two more Iridium more. I think we lock it in. Plus, we get to keep the cowboy hat. I mean, yeah, you know what? <laughs> that shouldn't be a determining factor, but weirdly enough, it is. All right, sell the fire quartz. Do I sell the purple slime egg? I don't think I do. I don't. I think. I mean, it's worth a decent chunk of change. Don't get me wrong, but I think selling the. I think keeping it could have greater ramifications in the future. So we'll hold on to that for right now. Neptune the second waits. I will store the dark cowboy hat for our for our edgy era when Beatrix decides to go like goth cowboy. Then I will deposit these two iridium bars. 19 iridium bars. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Just looking at that 19. We basically have 19.6 iridium bars right now with the with the three iridium ore we got on deck. Is so sad. <laughs> so sadly close, but we can get there. We can get there today. Let's go do it. For, we do have Debris Day, though. We do have Debris Day. We can't just shirk our duties because of because of how close we are to the Iridium here. We gotta finish up. We gotta do Debris Day. Especially with it being the first day of a new season. There's, there's bound to be more Debris. Plus, I gotta do the uh, garbage run today, right? Goth Cowboy is quite an aesthetic. We've got some dark boots. We've got the the dark cowboy hat. We don't really have any other dark clothes, though. I don't know too many goths who wear, like, like a ye yellow blouse and a brown skirt. But maybe Beatrix could pull it off. Go goth cowboy and befriend Sebastian. <laughs> maybe that's our destiny. Maybe that's, yeah, that's going to be our next goal. Who knows? Have a good one there, Arabella. You don't understand anything going on in the game, but the stream is cozy as heck. Thank you, Nefits. Nefits, I recognize your name. Long time no see, my friend. Good to see you around. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Plan for the last 250k? Probably some clay farming, yeah. I'll probably end up doing a lot of that off-stream, to be honest. Getting at least, like, close to the million off-stream, and, uh, and then finishing out a bit on, like, next week's stream, like on Monday, probably. I think that's probably the way I foresee things going here. Very much doubt that we're going to have time to time to do that in this stream. Change the skirt to black and she could be a, a goth cow bee. <laughs> goth cowboy bee, a goth cow bee. I'm, I'm here for that. It would be perfect. It would be the perfect outfit to don whenever b underscore boss dot OGG starts playing. Is certainly an aesthetic that I can that I would strive for. I would co-sign it. Is that there is a log there. I thought so. I think some of these logs have replaced some stones. This these feels these feel like heavily stone drenched areas that are being a bit more overrun by logs right now. So maybe the whole like grass 
strategy is working. Slowly but surely, clearing out a, a little bit of stone with the with the power of these logs. Smelting the bars will reduce the amount of clay farming significantly. Speaking of which, I should actually probably start smelting those bars, huh? I should start by at least by getting the gold smelted, and then we can like work down from there. I just bring all this over here. Just have it ready to go. We don't need to worry about holding off for, for Iridium for right now. Once we get our last two ore, then we'll be we'll be in good standing. Obviously, we'll be able to just smelt it right away. But until then, we might as well put that furnace to work. Go team logs. I am all for team logs right now. Would you guys call these logs or just like sticks? I've always called them logs, but like there are also like big, like real big logs in this game. And these feel too big to just be like sticks. I don't know, they're 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 larger than anything I would personally call a stick in my own real life. But as far as like nomenclature within the game goes, I think stick could be a good one because like these are logs. There's no doubt in anyone's mind, I think, that these are logs. I don't know what else you would even call them. Like hollow wooden vestibules. I don't I don't even know. You'd have to get start getting creative with it. Branches. Now the branches are on the trees. If a branch falls off a tree, it's a stick. The dictionary de I feel like the dictionary definition of branch has to have it like attached to a tree. Branches? I I, I don't feel okay calling them branches. I, like a branch is something that's attached to the tree. Why not sleep until winter and farm winter forage? I mean, it's probably the best way to go about it, honestly. But <laughs> but I don't want to just burn away the entire year like that. I just feel bad. That's that's the only excuse that I have, and it's not a good one, but I would just feel bad doing it. As far as, like, real-life, real-time efficiency, that's probably the way to go. But to maximize the days within the valley itself, a little clay farming can do as well. Wiki calls them twigs. Fallen branches. Fall. I mean, fallen branches, sure, I'll give it to you. But a fallen branch is just a stick. I feel like this is just we're just we're just making concessions here to avoid calling them sticks. You're not you guys aren't going to hurt my feelings if you just call them sticks. I call them logs. But if you want to call them sticks, I mean just calling them calling them branches though. That's a, it's just a step too far as, as far as I'm concerned. A twig is smaller than a stick. I would say a twig is probably smaller than a stick, yeah. I would I would tend to agree with that. Twig just it's a, it's a smaller word than stick, and conveys smallness better than than stick does. Tree arms. <laughs> I mean, you can call them tree arms if you want, but then you have to start calling like bark like tree flesh, and you have to start calling wood tree meat. If you're comfortable calling, like, like saying, yeah, I've got this table, it's made of nice mahogany tree meat, then, uh, like, go for it, but you have to go all in on that. No half measures, Walter. If you need an axe to get past a stick, it's not a stick. That's a valid point. It's a valid consideration for sure. You don't do that already? I mean, I do. I definitely, I use tree meat in my day-to-day -day vocabulary for sure. But I don't know if the layperson is, is ready to accept it. I want to get away from the grass so I don't, like, get rid of too much of it here. And then just yeet. You love fall when all the hair falls from the trees. 
Why do I hate that even more than, than tree meat? Call, calling the leaves tree hair? <laughs> that, that definitely rubs me the wrong way. I get to those those branches in there. I get to those logs. Not this way. This might this might be an occasion where where the chair could come in handy, I think. A little something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, this place is it's overrun. So little like secret quarry in the middle of our farm here. You dislike that the wiki calls them twigs. It displeases you. Twigs is kind of a weird classification. It's like the worst of all worlds. It's the worst of all terms. I just... I just bamped right through that tree. What the heck? Call me Keyleth. I'm, I'm bamping through trees. Alright, I think we're pretty much good for debris on the farm here. Oh, we got... Uh, I don't think I can get there. Maybe, I guess I could, like, chair in there and get there, but that's a little more work than I'm than I'm up for right now. I think we just call it here. Have a good one there, Mabby. Take care. All right. First, well, not first gold bar, but first gold bar that we're going to, like, sell for profit there. Pretty nice. We're going to keep table gold. Table gold has a special place in our hearts at this point. I, I could not dare to part with it. What did I sell today? Oh, some stuff from Skull Cavern, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The machines did get synced up. <laughs> I didn't even attempt to sync them up myself, but they just they just naturally synced up on their own. Which I guess is the way it was always meant to be. What do you got for me, Gus? I probably don't even need to go and buy too much more, like, luck-boosting food if it does come around. We've got a decent supply for, for the next little bit. We also, we're also going to have to build up our staircases pretty significantly. We we're, we're literally got down to zero on our Skull Cavern run. But it was worth it. If you had asked me, hey, would you trade 64 staircases for two iridium bars? I'd be like, in a heartbeat, yeah. In the situation that I'm currently in, it's it's no contest. The machines yearn to be synced. Isn't there a Veritasium video about that? How, like, things, like, nat like, ma like machines naturally sync up. I don't remember. It's 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 an older one, I think, but I don't remember the actual context of that video, but I remember it because I remember that, like seeing like the thumbnail for it, where it's like all like the metronomes syncing up even if they started out of, out of sync to begin with. It's probably some funky science going on there. Have a good one there, Trenton. Thanks for hanging out, and take care. Got a cowboy hat and an egg. It was a good day in Skull Cavern. You know, we made, it was trade offer. I I give you 64 staircases. You give me two iridium bars, a little purple slime egg, and some new uh, some new drip for the collection. I think we got the better end of that deal, honestly. Car turn signals do, but only briefly. It's always an exciting moment when you're like sitting in your car, like like waiting at a traffic lights behind somebody else. You got your turn signal on. And you're just, like, watching their turn signal to see when it lines up with yours. And then that moment it syncs up. It's it's got the same energy as waiting for the, um... Like, that DVD logo. Like, the DVD screensaver logo, like, bouncing all around the screen. When it finally hits the corner dead on and bounces, like, straight back diagonally. It's got that exact same vibe. It's just, it's just oddly satisfying. R slash oddly satisfying. All right. How many how many geodes should we go for? We got to we got to farm up some some more magma geodes here. 
how many should we go for? Should we should just go like the full 50 like we did previously, or should we stop short? I'm also going to go ahead and we might be here for, for a hot minute. Silence the dings a little bit. 20? I guess realistically, why don't we go like, we'll just go like 10 at a time. We only, we literally need two Iridium ore. Why don't we just like get 10 geodes and then just take the minecart over to Clint? It's literally like right there. It's not that much of an inconvenience. And we, if we, and that way we like minimize the amount of uh, like overage we go. So what if we just get like 10, maybe 15? I could, I could probably co-sign 15 if we wanted to. Also, I'm going to go ahead and toss this. Keep, I toss the, toss the Joji Cola. It's not that big of a deal. Keep all that. Until I have enough time to run to Clint's. Yeah, I guess if he closes at 4, we might as well, like, stock up on what we can. And then, uh, like, before, before 4, like, and then, like, leave around, like, 3 or something. Maybe even a little later than that. We got the Geo, we got the minecart right there. That could be a good way to go about it. Also, if you really want optimal geode uh, extraction, op optimum geode numbers, the way you should be doing this is what I was doing off screen, where you pause like that and do a little pause buffering every single time. That way, time's not passing in that little brief transition between the elevator and the and the floor. But I don't want to be here like quite that long, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, and get what we can the normy way here. But for those of you who might be geode farming at home, if you're playing along at home, here's here's a hot little tip for you. It's like you're calling into the Nintendo Power Hotline. Imagine having that job, being like the person on the other end of like the Nintendo Power Hotline back in the day, where like kids call in and like, "How do I get past this level in Kid Icarus?" and you got and you like trying to give them, like, tips and strategies. I never called that number or anything like that, so I don't know what the actual experience like that was, but if I grew up in a different time and I were able to be one of the interns on the end of that phone line, oh, man, that would have been, that would have been a great, great little experience to have. Maybe. I, I'm presuming, anyway. I think it would be fun. Do you think they ever made, like, kids cry by mistake by, like, telling them, like, you just gotta get better at the game. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry, you just, like, you're just bad at the game. There's there's actually just no, there's no secrets that I can give you. There's no tips and tricks. You just have to get better, kid. Hopefully they would say it, like, more, tact more tactfully than that, but <laughs> at a certain point for certain games, that's kind of the only advice you can give. <laughs> get good, child. Hang up. They were the first Dark Souls players. <laughs> you call this Nintendo hotline and the person just tells you skill issue? Have you tried not sucking at the game? Yeah, the people on the end of those hotlines, I, I don't know. Maybe they grew up to be esports legends, or maybe they're uh, maybe they're working the McDonald's drive through somewhere. No disrespect to drive through employees. You're on the front line of some of the, the worst customer service in the industry, I imagine. But I don't think anyone aspires to be a, a, a drive through employee for the rest of their life. I should certainly hope not. I feel like everyone is capable of, of higher aspirations than that. And if you think you're not, then just jam out to this B song and let, let it wash over and through you and fill you with determination. Get some B emojis in chat, please. It's a whole, it's a B party. The bees are, are dropping off geodes. The little geode nectar. 
The problem is you're dying because you're taking too much damage. Take less damage and you'll be grand. Exactly. I can't believe these kids don't get it. Just, like, avoid the enemies. Like, you see that, like, big, that big, like, uh, goblin? That big devil that's trying to swoop down at you in Ghosts and Goblins? You just, like, dodge him. Like, when he swoops down, just, like, don't be where in the area where he's swooping down. Just, like, go, like, the other way. Has anyone ever... Has anyone in chat ever beaten Ghosts and Goblins? The original Ghosts and Goblins for the NES? I would contend, out of all, like, the, like... Like, default win states of a game... Because, like, there, there are games out there with, like, insane challenge modes and stuff, and, like, really, in, like, difficult to accomplish goals and achievements and all that stuff. But as far as just, like, the base vanilla game, I think Ghosts and Goblins for the Nintendo Entertainment System might be the hardest game there is. Like, ever. It's so absurdly difficult. And spoiler spoiler alert for like a 30-year-old game. But like basically like it's it's full of like hard as nails platforming. You literally only have like two hits ever. Um the controls are not great. The monster placements are like actually just like devised by by the devil himself. You have to go through six like ridiculously catastrophically difficult gauntlets of levels. I'm pretty sure it's six anyway. And when you finally beat the sixth level, you beat the big old boss, the big, like, hairy demon monster at the end of level six, it tells you, you didn't do it right. You gotta get this weapon that you couldn't have actually, ever, that never actually shows up in your initial run through of the game. Go back to the start and beat it again and come back and make sure you get to the end with this particular weapon. And literally, you have to go through the entire game again with, like, this weapon that's, like, actually, like, probably, like, in the bottom tier of weapons for the game. Like, it's, it's like, a D-tier weapon. And you gotta beat the game again. It's actually just, like, ob it's, it's obnoxiously difficult. It is... I don't say that that often about games. I'm, I'm in the... I'm in the camp of giving games a lot more leeway than I think most players would. Ghosts and Goblins... That's that's just obnoxious right there. Battletoads is not easy either. Battletoads is up there, but I think Battletoads is it's it it can be unfair at points, but if you like kinda know what you're doing. I've beaten Battletoads before, I've never beaten Ghosts and Goblins. I don't even know if I've gotten close to beating Ghosts and Goblins, to be honest with you. But I've looked into it enough to be <laughs> to be dismayed about it. Maybe one day, maybe a Halloween special, we'll do some ghosts and goblins, I don't know. By the way, if anyone's wondering, like, what the heck's going on right now in terms of the actual game, um, we got two Iridium Bars from Skull Cavern, so we need literally one more Iridium Bar. And we already have three Iridium Ore in a chest at home. So basically, we literally need two Iridium Ore in order to finish all the Iridium we need for the Desert Obelisk. So that's kind of why we're here right now, grinding more Geodes. Battletoads at least has warps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ghosts and Goblins. It's, uh... And, I mean, that's just, like, even the start of the franchise. Like, there's there's other games that franchise, like Super Ghouls and Ghosts. It's, um... Th those games are easier than the original, I would say. But they're not, uh... They're, they're not easy by... <laughs> by the casual player's definition, I would say. Clint time, we got 10. I think I'm gonna do like uh, like what we were saying before and wait until like around 3 p.m. And then however many geodes I got then, then we'll just uh, we'll go go cash it in at Clint. Actually, I guess I could wait until like a little bit before 4 p.m. Because like, like I know Clint closes at 4 p.m. But doesn't after he closes, doesn't he still just like stand by the counter for a little while and he'll still open geodes for me? 
Like he's just like too too socially awkward to to say no, even though his shop is closed. Which honestly, like same. If I were a small business owner and someone was like in my shop, like they came in before closing, but they were staying in after closing, I would be like, I would be hard pressed to say like, all right, you got to get out of here. <laughs> If it were not my business, if I were working for someone else, then I'd be much more inclined to be like, sorry, I gotta kick you out. It's just, that's, that's just the rules of the business. It's the rules of the game. The rules of engagement state. As you can see clearly on our sign, we are closed past 4 p.m. It is currently 4.01. I can no longer serve you, my friend. I apologize for any inconvenience. May you find another blacksmith on the horizon. You can get there at 350 and he'll stay and open all your geodes. That's good intel. He does eventually leave. Like, he goes off to the saloon at some point. But I think he's still there for, like, a good few hours after 4, right? Like, like maybe, like, 2 hours or so, which should be more than enough time to, to, op to process all the geodes. Will we be able to sell the stuff to him? He'll stay there for, like, th for 3 extra hours? Okay, yeah. <laughs> we should be fine, then. And I'm pretty sure we'll still be able to sell the stuff to him as well. There would be no reason for it to be just like geode processing and nothing else. If he's there, he's probably like there for, for everything. Yeah, we can't get in after 4, but if we get in at 350, then, uh, then he can't complain. He can't yell at us for like breaking and entering or anything. If anything, we're just like trespassing at that point, but like who's he going to call? Mayor Lewis? I got an obsidian edge with his name on it. Not really. That's domestic terrorism. I probably shouldn't <laughs> shouldn't joke about that one. But you gotta you gotta let him know who's in charge around here. Without Beatrix, there's no local economy. She's not in the geode business. She's in the empire business. Apparently, your randomizer hates you today. Goal one: catch an octopus. Given, th oh my gosh. Sleep till summer, get no next to catch a squid. Oof. Oh no, I missed the geode. That's okay. I was so I was so flummoxed by the catch an octopus into catch a squid back to back goals. That's pretty rough. Best of luck to you, Mary. That is a uh, that's a yikes. I mean if you caught the octopus though, catching the squid should be easier. It's not gonna be easy necessarily, but And you give it, give it, oh, but you slept, you slept till summer though, so, and you have to like sleep and, oh gosh, I missed another one. Because in, because you don't get the squid again until winter, right? So you're going to have to sleep until winter. That's, that could be a bit of a, a bit of a bummer. <laughs> we'll just blackmail Lewis as is civilized. So true. I think I know where to find his golden statue. Missed another one. I'm just I'm just not focused enough. Yeah, I think we can get up to like at least 25 here before we need to need to clock out. Probably even a little bit more than that. If we stick around until like 3.30 or so. I think that's three B three geos back to back right there. Back to back to back even. That's rare. How many resets are we at right now? Oh yeah, I forgot to end the poll. <laughs> Oops. We got it in two resets, I think, right? So it was 19% of chat was correct. And it's okay, don't worry. We're going to be starting up another poll in the near future here once we get all our uh, all the magma geos we, we can afford. Yeah, it's not the problem of catching, it's the sleeping. Yeah, I feel that. I haven't had a fishing goal yet, but I have to imagine that's going to be, like, the most annoying part of the fishing goals is, like, getting to the actual season or time where you need to catch them and then trying to trying to hook them and only them. I can see that being a bit of a... a bit of a sticking point for sure with the fishing goals, but... such as the nature of the randomizer, that's just, uh... It's just the life we've signed up for.
cat meds given. Congratulations, Dragonic Moon. You've won yet another battle with the feline overlord. But tomorrow is another day. And I'm sure your cat will not let you forget that. <laughs> yeah, we literally need two Iridium Ore. Question will be, can we get two Iridium Ore in 30-odd Geodes? Give me one more geode and I'll be a, I'll be a happy camper here. Please, sir, just another just a morsel of another geode. You know what? Let's get an omni geode. Let's do, let's get quirky about it. A single omni geode. Why not? Why not mix it up a little bit here? I guess we can check both floors and then just go with, with whichever one appears first. There it is. A single Omni Geode. Perfect. Alright, let's head out of here now. Pay a little visit to Clint. I'm going to also boost my volume back up, boost the sounds back up for the geode opening dopamine. Let's get things underway here. All right, sir. I'm going to go ahead and toss this stone. I have a lot of stone already. I will sell the aquamarine just to clear up a little bit of room. And away we go. All right. Um, we'll, sa we'll save the Omni Geode for, for second here, or for, for last. If we need to. Oh yeah. Also, I should set up a poll real quick. Odds are pretty good. Let's see. Will we get two iridium ore from these geodes? Yes is a simple yes or no question. Uh, we either get at least at least two iridium ore, I should say. It's not in the question, but it's in the fine print. Little asterisk there. If we get more than two iridium more than, I mean, we're st it's still a yes. <laughs> Pickaxe emojis are appreciated, as always. Pickaxe emojis and, and star shard related emojis. We need all the luck we can get here. 28 geodes remain. 29 geodes remain, technically. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a pretty good start. Okay. 27, ge 28 geodes. We need one Iridium Ore. We need a single piece of Iridium Ore. Come on. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You voted no because I'm going to get more. I'll, I'll take that into account, Laisha. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's going to be a bit slower going because our inventory space is, is kind of sparse here. That's okay, though. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Get the irid put it right next to the star shards. Give it a little extra infusion of luck right there. Process them. Oh yes, we did it! <laughs> it didn't even need all we we needed like what? Like nine geodes? Eight geodes? All the rest of this is just gravy. 92% of believers are correct. That is the final iridium that we needed. We officially have. With these three iridium ore. 20 iridium bars. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know what a relief that would feel like. Holy moly. Check that one off of the list. 20 iridium bars. Just just one waiting to be made now. Let's let's finish off. You know what? I'm not I'm gonna op open this one. A little base salt. Great. Sure. Why not? I'm going to sell the rest of these geodes. That's just money. I'm taking it. <laughs> They're more profitable to sell this way than to open them. We would make money technically, but I mean, nah, I can't. You know what? I got to open. I got, I want to open. Oh, I can't open them. I, it, never mind. Clint's is closed. It's fine. <laughs> I'm taking it. I'm taking it to the bank. I'm cashing it in. Just money, but now. We gotta, we gotta buy our 10 coconuts on Monday at some point, which is easy enough to do. And then, uh, a little more money to go. It's, it's compared to the Iridium. Might take a little while yet, but it's... 
it's probably easier easier on the brain at least. All right, sell the magma geodes, sell the fire quartz, sell the basalt, and go cash in this iridium ore. We got we got one extra even one extra for for future endeavors. All right, another iridium bar. Look at this, 19, 1 in the furnace. What a great day. What a great day to be alive. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, let's let's cash that one in. Let's, let's lock it in right there. Let's go to sleep for the night. Yes, please. Not a bad chunk of change from all those, uh, the magma geos that we didn't have to process either. So we will take that. Holy moly. All right. It was, I was right with my first thing to just get 10 and go to Clint's. It turns out that was true, yeah. Final Iridium Bar, for now, anyway. 20 Iridium Bars. I didn't I didn't think this would be, like... <laughs> I didn't think this would come before the, uh, the money goal, to be perfectly honest with you. But I'm glad to be wrong. Oh, I do need one coal. Okay. <laughs> All right. Should make a decent chunk of money just from selling the uh, the bars as we process them as well. We'll be able to sell them directly to Clint. Um, make sure I haven't messed up my shipping collection. We got a lot of iron, a lot of copper to to process here as well. It's not going to get us quite to where we need it to be, but it'll be a decent step of the way. We just got to go make some money. Basically, just got to go make some money. We have unlocked the sewers. Yeah, we've unlocked the sewers. We've taken care of all that business. It's really just, just the money at this point. That's really all it is. Ash browns. I don't even need to check the dish of the day too much right now, to be honest with you. I think we're okay. Um, let's go ahead and sort out my inventory the way I like it. Something like that. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I mean, I guess we just go start making money for the last little bit of the stream that we got here. Sell everything that I don't really need to save. To be honest with you, I think I already have. <laughs> I mean, everything that's like worth selling anyway. Question becomes now, should I clay farm or should I just sleep for the... You know what actually I should do? I just You know what I just realized I should do? We don't need staircases for right now. So, crystallariums, get repurposed. You've done amazing work so far. We'll save these jades for, for future endeavors. Diamond. And I guess I might as well keep the other ones going with jades just until we get more diamonds, but we might as well uh, load up on diamonds for, for some more money, right? Do I have the coconuts and the cactus fruit? Yes to the cactus fruit, no to the coconuts, but the coconuts, I literally just buy them on Monday. Star shards? There is only one star shards. We've made that mistake before. We're, we're only one star shards. This one, it brought us the luck we needed. As we saw right there with those last few geodes, one star shard is all we need. Too, too many more than that. Even a single one more than that is just greedy. Greedy to eat all that. You'll end up with your with your teeth all pink. Eat orange? No, I don't think I will. Thank you. Sell fruit? We've sold most of our fruit already. I do need to sell the apricots. Uh, I can't sell them today because Pierre is closed. The cherries we save for cherry wine. Um, star fruit, obviously, we're saving. There's not, like, a whole lot in here that I would want to sell, to be honest with you. Nothing that's, like, really that worth that much anyway. Yeah, no, we're not selling the wine. The wine is for my own personal collection. Let's go do some garbage farming, shall we? You know it's been a, it's been a while, pie. There you go. You deserve it. You've been you've been waiting nice and patiently for that drink for a long time. Enjoy. Just need a star shard command. I think a star shard a star shard emoji could be even better. Might add it to the to the echelon for like the member emojis. If 
I sold all the mushrooms, it would be 15,000. It's a lot, but I still think, I honestly really do believe right now the mushrooms, they're better served as a food source. I, don't, I haven't had to worry about like buying food or anything of that sort for, for a very long time now. It won't always be this way. We'll we'll eventually be in a position where we can have like better food than uh than common mushrooms. This pike is not that important, I don't think. In fact, I think we already have one at home, don't we? Yeah, but for now, I think these common mushrooms are best served as food. probably sell a chunk of the mushrooms and not feel it because we're going to be spending so much time. That's true, but honestly, I can sell the mushrooms at any time. So if I if I change my mind and decide that I want to sell the mushrooms for that little extra cash injection, then I can just do that whenever, whenever I go to like sell other stuff anyway. So I don't feel the need to sell it right now. I'd rather hold on to it and not regret having sold it later than to, than to sell it now for, for money that I can't even make use of yet. A 2,000 piece puzzle purple? That is, that is, that's a big puzzle. I think the biggest puzzle I've ever solved as far as like a jigsaw puzzle goes is like, like 500 pieces. Best of luck to you. Yo, we got a Wickedy raid. Welcome on in, Wickedy viewers. Welcome. How, how was, uh, how was Roll for Initiative today? How was, how'd that, how'd that all go? Did you have the best of luck? We had pretty good luck around here. I hope we didn't steal any luck from, from your challenge as well. Thank you for the raid, Wickedy. Hi bye. Hi bye, Wickedy. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, Wickedy. For for those who are coming in from Wickedy's stream, new to what's going on here, exclamation point uh, FAQ if you're curious about the nitty gritty of the challenge. But basically what we got going on right now is we are trying to get perfection one task at a time, breaking down all of perfection into its discrete components. So like, you know... Right now, our goal is to craft a desert or build a desert obelisk, but all other goals are available as like catch various fish, craft whatever items, and we just do whatever our randomizer tool tells us in a random order. And that's and we do that until we get perfection. Hopefully, I summarized it reasonably well there. Welcome on in. Thank you there. Thank you very much. It was the best of luck. It was the worst of luck. It's the way these challenges go. I know it all too well. Yeah, honestly, it probably is best to just sleep now until until winter, rather than doing any any clay farming or anything like that. That's at least what I'll start by doing here, because I, I probably won't make it to winter just off just in this stream alone. Like even if I just like sleep all the way through, just like stopping to do my chores and stuff. The chores take long enough that uh, it's it would take too long. Get a little long in the tooth. There was luck involved, and that's all you gotta say. That's uh, that tells me everything I need to know. Yes, and we can't fill the all the, any of the other goals like out of order, so we can't uh, can't level up in any of our skills or do anything that would be of insane help to us until we're actually told to do it. So, as our second goal being the desert obelisk, it's uh, <laughs> it's about as difficult as you could imagine, just based on what how it sounds. But we're getting close. We've come a long way. Rabbits, rabbits, rabbits. I mean, I would love to set up a rabbit farm, like a, like a coop full of rabbits. But I'm not confident that I could pick up their goods without um, farming experience. I don't know why. I just, I, I, I like doubled back on that, <laughs> on that artifact spot there, but just never actually stopped to get it. Would putting an egg in an incubator be crafting because we're creating life? Hmm. Questions scientists have, have not yet been able to answer. The auto grabber would be would be the solution to that. That involves more skull caverns grinding, which means more uh more jade farming, which is is, is always on the table, but for now it's a bit more overhead than I'm willing to do. I think I'm content. Like, we're so close to the finish line now as far as the Desert Obelisk goes. 
that I might as well just uh, stick to my guns here. Go back to a little bit more. We don't even have to do like a full season of uh, of Winter Forge farming once we get there. Especially not with the money we'll make from processing all this gold and stuff. I, I guess I need some coal to do that now that I'm, I think about it. <laughs> Yeah, I picked up 500 magma geodes between streams from just uh, just straight up hard knuckle geode farming, and uh, and and here we are now, basically. Seven iridium. W Wickedy, I will confirm, we got at least 7 Iridium. We got at least 7 Iridium out of 500 Geodes. How much more than that? You know, I mean, you'll have to just, you'll have to scroll back and find out. To scroll back and find out. One way or another, though, I will say, I mean, if we just look in our, look in our fridge over here, you might be able to tell that we, we had a little bit of luck. Plus 42. How did she know? <laughs> she's, she's clairvoyant. What the heck? Yo, that's crazy. We did get two, two bars in Skull Caverns. As nice as it would have been to get all three bars to finish off the collection in Skull Cavern, it did kind of feel nice to, to smelt the final bar on our own. Create it with our own two calloused hands. I mean, not my not my hands. My hands are are silky smooth, like any gamers ought to be. But Beatrix's hands are are very calloused. People like to let you know what you're missing. <laughs> I gathered that when I well they came in and told me that you thought I was only going to get seven, and I was like, I got to prove her wrong. I still didn't have the best of luck. Like I was still on the, I was still on the lower side of the average, but I was I was a bit closer to the average than, than it seemed like I would be for a considerable amount of time during that geode opening session. All right, and this Monday I think I will take the initiative to go out to the desert and buy the coconuts. Might as well just get that one out of the way. That way, when that way, the literally last step that we have to do will be to get the money. Might as well. We've got the iridium out of the way. The cactus roots we bought long ago. Might as well knock out the third step that we can here, and then just moolah. Just money, 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 money. Also can't forget to stop by the Luau later today, or later this uh, this season, in order to get our next star fruit. That is a long-term goal with those star fruit. If we if push ever push ever comes to shove, why why is push shoving so often? Like what the push? You okay? I just assume it's a person named Push, right? Doing all this shoving all the time. Anyway, when push does come to shove, then like. Uh, We'll be glad that we got the star fruit. Should have left the cactus fruit for last. More fitting. It is on brand, but what can I say? Beatrix is her own person. She's forging her own destiny. And to her, right now, cactus fruit is just another fruit. There's, there's nothing special to her about cactus fruit. She doesn't know what these people are talking about in her head. money Argon saying is 65 gold came in overnight. It's 65 gold I didn't have yesterday. That's the way I look at it. I think push comes to sub because you're planning to push something but it's harder than you thought so you have to shove it. That, I mean, that, you know what, I've never really thought about the actual meaning of the phrase before, but 
That does that does make reasonable sense. Shove is such an aggressive word. Have you ever thought about how aggressive it is to like shove something? Like whenever I say the word shove, I feel like I'm shoving the air out of my mouth. It's one of those words that, you know, it describes the thing that is doing so well. It's it sounds like what it sounds like the thing that it describes. I don't know how better to put it than that. It's one of those sort of just esoteric feelings. I'm going to shove you down to the ground. Minkus. Anyone remember Minkus from Boy Meets World? Anyone remember Boy Meets World? Even better question. Great show. It was a part of my childhood in a way that not a lot of shows uh, are. Like, a lot, I remember a lot of shows from my childhood, but, but Boy Meets World was an actual, like, part of my childhood. You know what I mean? Part of what built me to who I am today. You've never watched Boy Meets World, but you've heard of it. Best part is that Minkus was only in one season. Didn't he, like, come back when he was, like, older? Like, he made, like, a cameo in a future season? I feel like I remember that. I remember being like, yo, it's Minkus again. How you doing, Mr. Minkus? Everyone remembers him so well. He was a very well-realized character. There's, like, Girl Meets World 2 now, right? That's, like, the the sequel. I don't know how good Girl Meets World is. But I feel like it would be hard to top Boy Meets World. Is there anything to do on Sunday that I can think of? I mean, it's Queen of Sauce, but that's already all done. Trading for staircases, but we don't have the the jade to make that even worth it right now. I think we're good. I think it's just I think Sundays are just another normal day now. Girl Meets World was canceled like ten years ago, and it was mid. Why did I think it came out in like the past like three years? <laughs> I thought Girl Meets World was like a relatively modern concept. I keep forgetting the coal. I just feel like the furnace should respect me enough that it should I, I shouldn't have to provide the coal every single time. I worked really hard to bring that furnace home. It took a lot of effort on on our part, and I feel like it should just it should reward me with a lifetime supply of coal, honestly. Or if nothing else, at least like some residual coal from the previous bar that I burned, it should be in there. I feel like that furnace should be like ultra efficient. It's a Junimo powered furnace. Not like Junimos themselves are like, we're not like sacrificing Junimos to Yoba or anything like that, but like Junimo met forest magic, you know? However that works, it's like magnets, no one knows how they work. Six years, ten years, same difference. Given a, a vast enough uh, period of time, you are, you're correct, basically. Six years and ten years. Could I at least check the traveling merchant for like decorative stuff? That could be fun. That could be a, that could be a fun little compromise. It would also throw more salt on the wound because we'd like see occasionally stuff that we like, really wish we could have. You know what? Let's go pay a visit. I'm gonna go pay a visit to the traveling merchant. I haven't thought about her in so long. Beatrix doesn't even know she exists. She's about to have her have her mind freaking blown here. Let's just let's just go let's just go pay a little visit. I'm feeling a little nostalgic today. We love salt on the wound. That we do. That we do. It would be neat if you could enchant the furnace on Ginger Island. Mabel? Is this is this the name of the traveling merchant, Mabel? She looks like a Mabel, honestly. I don't know where the, where this secret hidden lore comes from, but Hello. 
You got an egg, a large egg, a sunfish, a leek, void essence, bug meat, kale, poppy seeds, sea urchin, wheat, and a green stool, and a rare seed, which we will actually have to buy eventually. Such, such exotic things. So many, like, possible options, like the eggs. We all know how we feel about eggs around here. Anyway, maybe in the future. Sometimes you just need to be reminded of how, how much easier life could be. Hope she's not selling a whole desert obelisk. Imagine 50% off your next des desert obelisk right here if you get it from me instead of the wizard. Only got to pay 500000 as opposed to a million. If that, if that were a possibility, I, I think we would have to reconsider the traveling merchant rule. You see you see Pi hidden down in the grass there? <laughs> I almost missed him. How you doing down there, Pi? He's loving it. He loves the tall grass. Kindred spirits with Timby, but that way. I guess I can sell this ancient doll. I don't really need to hold on to that. I missed an island farm box at the entrance. Do you mean a supply crate? A beach supply crate? It'll still be there later. I'll, I'll catch it tomorrow when we do debris day. How close do you I think I am to the fourth candle at Grandpa's Shrine? Not very. <laughs> I mean, if I were able to complete the community center, then then I'd be all, then I'd be pretty much there. I'd need to get up to a million earn total earnings, which we're we're approaching that anyway. All right. That ancient doll sells for as much as a single loaf of bread. What is this economy? First diamond. Now we want to go ahead and swap this Crystallarium next in line with the Diamond. And then once those two are ready, then we'll be able to make all four Crystallariums Diamonds, and then we'll be able to start selling. We'll be rolling in it before long. Diamonds are, I think if I remember from the wiki, they're like 150 gold per day. Once you average out the cost across the days that they like need to process. So that's pretty handy. Alright, we're going to the desert today for the... Um, coconuts. We're also doing debris day, so I was considering maybe just doing, maybe just using one of our desert warp totems to go to the desert, but if we're doing debris day anyway, we're going to be out later than usual, so I might as well just wait for the bus. That's totally fine. Yeah, it's pretty much just money left for this goal. Money and the after t at least after today, once we buy those coconuts, get this coconut monkey off my back, and then we'll be good to go. You know, let's let's set aside let's the cactus fruit is just sitting unceremoniously over here. We'll put it in here for right now. I'm okay with that. Put it in there with the iridium. Give it a place of. You know what? Put it put it in there with the iridium. Why don't we move the iridium over there as well? In fact, these things are so special, let's keep them very well protected and hidden over behind the sec in the second chest behind the bear. These these are valuable assets. Am I selling the apricot soon? I guess I can do that today too. I'm gonna be out and about doing errands anyway, so why not? Um I was going to bring all those mushrooms as well, but I don't want to fill up my inventory too much right now just because I might get something out of the garbage cans. Might not, but might. I really can't complete the community center because the bulletin board gives friendship. So unless you get all the friendship goals first, you'll have to switch to Joja. Counterpoint. If I complete the bulletin board, get the friendship and then hit all the people with a slingshot to knock them back down to zero, then I don't end the day with with friendship with those people, right? That's the rule, is I can't end the day with, like, full hearts of friendship with those people. So if I do that, 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's it's food for thought. Not that we're likely to be able to complete the community center anyway. But I don't know if that's uh that's a deal breaker necessarily. Doesn't it only give friendship on the next day? So we wouldn't end friendship. We wouldn't end with friendship on that day anyway. And then the next day we knock them all down back to zero hearts, and we would not don't end friendship. Don't end with hearts on friendship that day either, right? <laughs> you like violence. If push comes to shove, again, don't know why push is doing so much shoving, but if, if that happens, then then we can consider that. But for now, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. It's for the greater good, I promise. I, I don't don't get me wrong, I won't have a, the greatest time like slingshotting everybody around the around the town, even though I'm saying that with a smile on my face. Just for the memes. 1488 from 24 apricots. Chump change. I only get friendship with Lewis, Robin, Marnie, Demetrius, and Clint. It's I'd get you get friendship from the bulletin board from with like all non dateable villagers, right? So I would get friendship with the dwarf technically. Clint, Robin, Lewis, Willie, the wizard, Marnie, Demetrius, Gus, Kent, Vincent, and that would be it. Which does mean I would have to slingshot a child in the face. But, I mean, sometimes these challenge takes, t challenges take you to weird places. What can I say? I won't use stones, at least. I'll use, like, something else. I'll use, like, garbage. I don't know. <laughs> With a garbage bag. Garbage bad. Happy Friday indeed, Laney. Good to see you. All right, let's head off to the desert here. And let's finally get this errand taken care of. Now that we're so close... To finalizing this goal. We, we, let's make this happen. Use explosive ammo. Excuse me. <laughs> A little palm fossil as well. Don't need. Who needs coconuts on the ground when you can just go buy them from your local desert grocer? Won't, sweetie, won't you buy something? I think I will. $4,000 for 10 coconuts. It's a bargain. There we go. The coconuts have officially been acquired. Can we get some coconut emojis in chat? Coconut emojis, please. A seed of the coconut palm. It has many culinary culinary uses. Citation needed. We will soon put the Put the lime in the coconut, which I mean put the iridium and the cactus fruit in the coconut. Mix it all up. And the taste is going to move you. Wait, no, that's the juicy fruit commercial. The coconuts, there they are. 10 coconuts, 10 cactus fruit, 20 iridium bars. That's a desert obelisk waiting to happen. Now all we have to do is pay the wizard's exorbitant fee. And we'll have unlimited access to the desert forevermore. Unlimited free access to the desert, even. Anytime we like. Haley wants to go on a camping trip someday. That'd be nice. That sounds very cozy. Raise your hand in chat if you go camping on a on a semi-regular basis. I would classify semi-regular basis for camping as, you know, like, maybe, like, once every... Even even once every couple months. I am not an avid camper, but I do enjoy my time when I go camping. I just never make the actual... Take the actual initiative to go camping. And I guess it also depends on the time of year and your climate and all that stuff, so it might not be as accessible to everybody. Can I somehow sell enough stuff to get there? Not right now, no. Even if I sold, like, literally everything I had, I'm pretty sure I would not have enough money to get there. To get to the million dollars I need for, uh... For the obelisk. Once a year count? <laughs> for lack of anything else, I'll take it. 
We'll take once a year. All right, someone said there was a supply crate down here. Oh, there is one. It was just literally right there in the middle of the path, huh? A little super meal, we'll take that. That's a speed boost, if nothing else. Once a year for a family reunion. Haven't camped regularly since 1990. Fair, yeah. Yeah, most of my camping experience has been relegated to, like, the earlier parts of my life when I was, like, taken camping and didn't have to take the initiative to go camping. And I've done I've done var various varieties of camping. I've, I've camped in tents. I've camped in RVs. I've camped in the snow. I've camped in the sun. I've camped, you know... I haven't camped on the sun. That would be... That would be pretty hot, I would imagine. Pretty bold of me to go camping on the sun when I'm... <laughs> I'm literally like the palest person alive. My plan for the remainder of the money right now is to sell... Well, first we'll process the metal bars that we can from opening all the geodes. We got a, dec a, oop, we got a decent amount of, uh, of gold ore and iron ore and copper ore to process into bars. We'll sell those bars to Clint, see where that gets us. Then we will rock you. But we'll also... Um, sell some diamonds on the side via crystallariums and we will sleep until winter and farm more winter forge and i think that's going to be basically it i might do some geode farming or clay farming off stream off screen so probably by the time we get to the uh probably by the time we get the next stream which will be likely on monday i will be within striking distance of the million gold. I don't want to hit a million gold just like off stream and, and do that. I feel like that would be very anticlimactic. I feel like we at least got to finish it off on stream together. Could you imagine that? I get, I come on, come in on Monday. It's like, hey guys, I got the million gold and I went ahead and built the desert obelisk. Let's roll a new goal. That would be so disappointing. That would be so, people would be so mad. Could not be me. I'm, I'm, I'm all for the uh, the community celebration of it. That's the best part. Yo, Nock Mazuchowski, thank you for being a member for nine months at the electron or at the neutron level, even. How's everything going? Things are going quite swimmingly, I would say. Swimmingly would be the way I would describe it. If I could describe my mood right now, I would uh, describe it using the song you're currently hearing. I'm feeling pretty happy about how things have gone today. It's a nice, sunny, beautiful day. It is a great day on Fractured Farm as well. Just loving life. That would be the quintessential I did something off camera. I come back on Monday, and all of a sudden I'm in the walnut room. I'm like, hey guys, I did a little bit of grinding off camera. Um, sorry about that. I just felt like, you know, it was a little boring. You didn't need to see it. Anyway, here, I just, I'm just i just going to pick up the Statue of True Perfection, and we're going to head to the summit really quick. We did it, guys. We made it to the end. Congratulations, everybody. How mad would you be? On a scale of 1 to 10, how mad would you be? Personally, I would be, I would be upset. If, some, if I was watch, if I were a viewer and, and that happened, but I would also be like, how in the world did you do that over a weekend? <laughs> Around 18 out of 10, 7.9, 10, 2. Hey, 2, you know what? I'll take the leeway. Is there any more debris in the middle of the farm here that I need to sneak into? Might just quit your job. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> it would not be me. That's not that's not a me thing to do, that's for sure. The closest I could see myself to doing that would be like uh as like a gag, yeah, like an like an April Fool's joke or something like that. Where I just like mod a farm to have like like perfection and everything, make it look like I did like a whole ton of work. And then just be like, and then and then sign off. Show the, like the file select screen. See that it's still there, and it's like, oh, oh. 
I don't know how you close out that joke necessarily in a satisfying way, but I think there could be a way to do it. That would be funny. Just blame it on Greg. Start the stream with a full coop of gold and chickens. Hey guys, I did a little off-screen grinding. Hope you don't mind. Alright, I think we're good. I think debris day is as good as, as it's going to get for right now. April 1st, 2024 is a Monday. Let's see if we're still doing this challenge by then. Uh, <laughs> Did I just overwrite a diamond? I think I did. <laughs> I think I overwrote the diamond that was in that crystal area. It's fine. We still got another diamond in the other one. It's not a big deal. Rip, though. 07 to that diamond. That's okay. It's too late in the day to reset either. Need blue and gold chickens, though. That would be a nice little color combination in the, in the coop. <laughs> how much do gold bars sell for, by the way? Like, how much... Like, without any... Like, I don't have any blacksmith profession or anything like that. How much... How much does a gold bar sell for? I want to say... I want to say 750 gold, but that seems, like, high to me. I feel like I might that might just be wishful thinking on my part. 250 gold? That sounds more in line with what I should expect, probably. <laughs> even still, even still, that's a, that's a decent amount. Two hundred and fifty, so two hundred and fifty times however many I'm gonna have, that'll be a decent chunk of change. I don't know why my brain went to seven fifty. Maybe it's because I was thinking of diamonds and diamonds sell for seven fifty. That could be the uh, the rationale there. At any rate, I think for this stream, I'm going to go ahead and we'll get to the Luau here. Because Luau is just in a couple days anyway, so I might as well knock that one out, get the star fruit, and then we'll probably call it a stream. Because a lot of what I can do now, I can do off screen anyway. I can do like some clay farming, slash geode farming, slash whatever I want to do. Um, get a little closer to, to winter where we need to be. And plus I'm getting hungry. If, I, if I'm being completely honest with you, I'm just getting a little bit peckish. So I might as well, uh, I, t I usually take that as a sign that it's probably a good time to end the stream. But we'll do a couple more days here to get to the Luau. I think that's reasonable. Seven hundred and fifty is how much they cost from Clint. It, he charges seven hundred and fifty gold for a single gold ore. Is that true? Or is that how much it costs to buy five gold ore? I guess it might be the cost for one gold ore in, like, year two and beyond. Because his, his price is, like, multiplied by five or something, right? So that's that's entirely possible. That's kind of spooky to think about, though. That's the, that's the power of inflation right there. One gold ore for 750? <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine if I could get away with selling at, the, at those prices. I wouldn't have any problem getting to the to the million gold I need. Forgot to donate the palm fossil, by the way. I am a chronic donation forgetter. I'm very bad about for, about forgetting that to donate stuff. So make sure you catch me on the on the next trash run. Just you just start yelling at me if I'm not donating it when I go by the museum tomorrow. Yeah, raw materials do get like ex exorbitantly expensive in the in the year two game, in the post year two game. Well, that's okay. Good incentive to go and collect them yourself. It, it does make things a bit tougher when we can't realistically collect them ourselves, like in this challenge, or at least it's a lot harder to collect them ourselves. Have a good one there, Jinx. 
And thank you for the thank you for the well wishes. Glad that you were here. Take care. Oop. You ever just look at a morel and just, like picture like instead of these being like holes in the mushroom, what if they're just like weird little like googly eyes? Do you see it? I, I kind of see the googly eyes. It's like a weird little alien, dude. I'm kind of here for that. And if you, like, look at his eyes, there's, like, these three googly eyes, and then this one's, like, the serious eye. It's like, come on, guys. You, you gotta take things more seriously. <laughs> he's, like, squinting. He's, like, he's like exasperated. Look long enough at pixel art, and the pixel art starts to stare back. Your one gold ore still costs 400 gold each. You good? Yeah, I'm great. Why do you ask? Also, doesn't it look like this bush has like a bunch of tongues that are sticking out? Turns out Stardew Valley is just an Eldritch Horror game in disguise. Museum, thank you. Thank you for the preemptive museum warning. I had it on my brain because I, I mentioned to, to remind me about it, and just the act of mentioning it to, for you guys to remind me about it reminded me of it. This is going beyond the squirrel monkey debate. I still contend, I mean, you can't see it now because this ice cream stand is open. I will always contend that that is a monkey, not a squirrel. Till the day I expire. I've been playing for too long. I mean, it goes without saying, I've been playing for like 1,500 plus hours. <laughs> that, that is too long to commit to like any one activity a lot of the time, but... If you really love the activity, then I mean, no amount of time is too long to commit to it, right? It's totally a squirrel. Squirrels do not have that skinny of tails. I will die on this hill. <laughs> Pareidolia or not, the, the, the monkey that takes residence in that ice cream stand is a monkey, not a squirrel. It has too skinny of a tail. It's a brown lemur. I mean, that's at least closer than a squirrel. I'll take brown lemur. All right, we're going to go to sleep for the night. Tomorrow is the Luau. Very important day for the grand scope of the challenge. It's an animal. You gotta commit to something wickety. You got you gotta commit harder than that. I will not accept animal as a as a valid answer. You wrote that on the test. Your your teacher would write in big red letters. Come on, get get real, kid. Apply yourself! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! All right. Um, need more cherries, please. <laughs> it is a mammal. You know what? You got me there. <laughs> Fair enough. I walked into that one. There's totally a face in the stone above the mountain warp thing. There's a lot of faces if you if you know where to look. For instance, in the mushroom cave. Have you ever noticed the face in the mushroom cave? I'm not going to point it out, but there's one there. If you look if you look in the right places, there's definitely a face there. It's like a spooky face, too. You would like to submit that it's a mushroom? Are we talking about the same squirrel slash monkey? All right. Should I bring anything to the luau this time? Like, I technically can put something in the soup. It just has to be something that, like, everybody hates. Like, do I have a puffer fish or anything that I can just throw in the soup? A little sap, maybe? A fluid obtained from trees? Why do I hate that it's described as a fluid? Yeah, I mean, it literally is a fluid, but fluid in this context, it just found, sounds like a weird word. I don't even know if you can put sap in the, in the soup. A little sap soup. But I'm going to try. It's 
for too long, I've I've had to go to this festival and just burn three thousand dollars without getting any kind of recompense other than the actual star fruit itself. I wanna I wanna mix things up a little bit this time. I've just been an innocent bystander. It's time to participate. They wanted me to put something in the soup. I'm going to put something back in the soup. Don't you worry about it. I don't think the green algae would go over that well either, but it might be it might be neutral, which would get me friendship points. Can't risk that. Do I have a staircase spare? <laughs> I see where you're going with that. Get the staircase to turn into the purple shorts to put in the soup. I actually don't think I have a staircase to spare. I literally use my last staircase. Ooh, what the heck? <laughs> a super cucumber there. All right. All right, Joe Jamard, I see you. You're trying to get in my good graces. Little super cucumber. Get some iridium from that fish pond. <laughs> I don't know. The super cucumber, that's, that's going to be useful in the future, right? That is that, that That'll be useful. <laughs> Will this affect my friendship with the dwarf? I don't think so. I could fish these and sell them. If I put them in a fish pond, yeah, I could. That's actually not a bad not a bad shout out. I don't know how, how long does it take for a super cucumber to reproduce in a fish pond? Because that's... I mean, it wouldn't be the best gold per day, but it would be gold per day. If this does mess with our friendship with my friendship with the dwarf, then I will scream and cry and reset the day probably. But <laughs> All right. First things first, let's get the star fruit out of the way. That's the main reason we're here. I think they could do with a little sap in this soup. It does it looks a little too brown. It just needs another lighter shade of yellow. Let's just toss that little sap in there. I added sap to the soup. Let's see how they feel about that. Look sharp, the governor's here for a visit. I don't think I've ever done this in the soup. I've always put either gone like purple shorts or something like reasonable. I don't think I've ever done sap in the soup. I'm a little scared. It's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients. Oh, only the best. Only the best for you, governor. Just some sap I scraped off my shoe after killing a slime. What's up? Is his face gonna go all green and go like, oh, oh. dot dot dot? Can you get some dot dot dots in chat, please? Oh no! <laughs> He's turning into the green goblin. This is vile. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh no! <laughs> this is the last face you see before you die. How do you feel? Ew. <laughs> I hated that sound. That was a great placement for that sound. Good going, people. Whoever put that foul ingredient in the soup made the governor pass out. I'm ashamed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Me just standing in the cor corner whistling casually to myself. What a disaster. Time to head home. Oh, no. The dwarf is still cool with us. Didn't, that didn't cause us to meet anybody else either, though, either, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Governor's fault for having such low energy. It was only minus two energy, you're right. Can't believe this. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> he really said... Oh my god, that's good. That's the perfect emoji. Alright, and we got... I mean, the super cucumber? Highlight of my day right there. Pop that in the fridge for right now. I'll give it its place of honor in a fish tank eventually, I'm sure. For now, let's smelt the last piece of, uh, I guess I need a coal, huh? <laughs> the last gold bar we can. I will trade the gold out for the iron ore here. And we will get smelting iron next. Why did we have to poison everyone? We didn't poison everyone, we only poisoned the governor. He's the one who taste tested it. He's like the canary in the coal mine. I want to accidentally overwrite my, my last diamond up there. All right. Good shout on to keep checking the trash. Yeah, I mean we wouldn't have gotten that if we hadn't. If we hadn't, that's for sure. All right. Go to sleep for the night. 
I think we're good. It's not the taste, it's the texture. All right. Well, that was a very productive stream. We are insanely close, insanely close, believe it or not, to getting the Desert Obelisk done as the second goal for the Perfection Randomizer here. We need, what, 266,000-ish dollars? 265,000? Easy. Easy pickings. We'll get there before you even know it. Next stream, we're going to have a Desert Obelisk on our farm. Mark my words on that. But until then, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I got to go get some get some lunch or something. Thank you for all the support, as always. I greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate you all having here. I'm going to send a virtual hug to, to everyone in chat right now. Virtual hugs for everybody. I hope to see you next week when this goal finally falls. I hope you have a great weekend otherwise. And, uh, yeah. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And take care. Send you off with the usual fan art compilation. This is Argon Matrix, signing on out. Thank you and have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye!